All right, gamers. Let's see. Let's see. Burton with the burst. What's good, Bert? What's good, Ren? What's good, Uni? What's good, Fallen? What's good, Knight? Hope y'all are doing good tonight. We're going to play some fucking <laughs> Titanfall 2, bro. <laughs> this shit was five beans. Five beans. And I heard it's fantastic, so we ball. Hopefully my PC doesn't shit itself. <clears throat> What's good, Goblin? I'm gonna do fact check, just trust and listen. Okay, what you got? Got new headphones? Huge! I saw you talking about them in Knight's chat. You got the Bluetooth joints? Very pog. I just wanna let y'all know <clears throat> that, like, y'all don't hear about Titanfall 2 or anything, but, like, this is damn near like regarded as one of the best games released in modern times so i just hope y'all are ready the campaign and the multiplayer were hard like but you don't hear about this shit ever this is from me reading the reviews cope <laughs> nah i'm for real yeah booger fuck goblin up okay New game. We we ball. Let's watch these cutscenes. War. War never changes. Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, that's me. The pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive, resourceful. Damn, all right, everyone's got hands. And relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Shit. Sheer walls become flanking routes. We're playing Apex Legends. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver. Even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what truly separates the pilot hey bro, from he's, all the he's whooping ass. Of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. We're playing Evangelion. To a titan, a pilot can only yeah, be stopped man. by overwhelming force or an equal. The he threw down the, the gun, bro. I've ever known. For years, he said, Fuck our lands were destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the eye. This IMC cinematic is ass opening, bro. Now, <laughs> the I fuck? A rifleman in the militia, I'm fucking with it. Fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. I'm hyped. Sufficiently. Games don't open like this, bro. This shit was great. The pilot's gauntlet. Here we go, Rifleman Cooper. Oh, hell. The ship must have power cycled the Simpod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. The Titans are sentient, too, if I'm not mistaken. This shit's kind of loud. I hate that these don't have like numbers. 
subtitles on sound and background on the fuck look at the lights okay we're calibrating yes controls are fine we're good to go let's see how much you remember from last time setting the neural link not quite the same as a titan link but it's similar we're booting up to learn new skills we need to be in the right state of mind ah march mirror technically i'm not supposed to be training you but in you i see potential you why is hold to ads why is it it's like Besides, we're at war. i tap it and it stays training. aimed in i don't fuck with that here you go up and over that's toggle am i tripping no that's that's toggle no sir Hold to ADS, the fuck? Bro, that setting doesn't work. Doesn't work. What's good, Zach? Enabling jump kit assist. Jump kit. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed. Damn, bro, we got bunnies. Jump kit calibrates to your movement style. Enhanced mobility becomes second nature. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. It's inspired by my home planet of Harmony. This is where I grew up. We were all running? We gotta be. Easy. Can I slide? Oh, yeah. Under here. Stay low. Simple double jump. Follow the ghost. Fuck the ghost. I'm in front. We've retaken over a quarter of frontier space since the Battle of Demeter. I like this. It feels nice. Fuck Apex. All my homies hate Apex. Titanfall is better. Damn. Is that the longbow? Bro, we got the fucking longbow spitfire. This is literally... Alternator. R3... R201. My fault. Okay, shit. Yeah, the aiming is broken. Looking like a better version of Conduit. What's Conduit? Here's Roblox Parkour. <laughs> Left shift toggle zoom. Oh, damn. I need ammo. Get more precision. Aim down the sights of your weapon. Good. Practice more if you want. That's it? Head to the gauntlet. That's it? Hold up. Let me perfect. Alright. We're about to speed run this shit. My aim is cracked. Where do I go? Why the fuck are their guns all the way up here? All right, got a new gauntlet for you to run today. Can I get me playing Hello Kitty Cafe? No way. Gotta do better Goblin, you've converted him. Follow the ghost. <laughs> find your own Bro, there's people that do these fucking maps so fast. Pilot has to strike a balance in combat. Speed is paramount, but you must also hit your target. They be doing like little fucking grenade jumps and shit. But me personally, I'm not built for that. Ooh. I mean, this shit is sick. Nice 
nice run. See the results board on the wall? You set a new best time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Now that you're warmed up, if you want a real challenge, you can race against 25 the seconds. Ghosts. Word of warning, though. The pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. Yeah, they can keep that. Them. You'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet as much as you want. When you're done, I'm good. I've got something special to show you. All done with the gauntlet? I'm ready to see what's next. Good. Like this. No spawn camping bitches so they leave the server? <laughs> That's mean. How do you feel that tomorrow is going to be 12, 31, 23? What does that mean? It's about time. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. But we're getting a, a deep ass tutorial. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. And did one of these in our brick. We didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, rifleman. Go on your first Titan. To call on a Titan, look in any direction and press V. Look up into the sky. There he is. Here's my boy. We're glitching, we're glitching. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling the you fuck? out. What? <laughs> what happened to me? Cooper, ready up. 12, Easy 31, call. 23. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Yes, sir. I don't get it. It's up. They're killing us. Try to anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang I don't get it. Someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, rifleman. But not today. No time. Last of Mosa. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're gonna see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. Maybe even die on it? Tripping. I didn't sign up for this. See you down there, rifleman. Good luck. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that's pretty cool. Finally, day of the year. Oh, fuck. Regular. Got it. Let's go. All my TikTok has is those plushies and hot sauce. Are we getting to the day to where Barry Allen disappeared in the future? No. <clears throat> We're in. Final <laughs> autocorrect. Bro, fucking, when I was talking to y'all yesterday, my phone autocorrected... Four to Fortnite or some shit like that. Ain't no way. I don't even play Fortnite or talk about Fortnite like that. We're plummeting. We're plummeting. That shake was intense. Hold up. The goblins in the future, bro. Jack Cooper, me. Got a flat line. Let's go. I want my aim to fucking work, bro. Like, it is not. I think it's time to Google.
which is pissing me off. Okay, wait. There's additional settings. What is it? Controller? I'm not playing on controller. Is that why? Mouse and keyboard. Key binding. Oh! Okay. Toggle aim. that how do i fucking edit key oh. Apply. Oh. okay so now yes damn bro got wiped the fuck up let's do the throw grenade Yay. that's a lot of niggas I don't have my movement shit. that shit on my head dude they got my back <gasps> damn and suplex that nigga Cooper, you're in bad shape hold on this might knock you out but you should be okay when you wake up last of most hostile titans inbound apex predators copy that BT. apex predators stay down Cooper. crazy BT, let's go. apex is a rip off of this game that's the mace my head. He's whooping ass. <gasps> no! He's done! But he saved us. He's very real. Who the fuck? Is this Craven? Goofy ass. <clears throat> we have eighteen hours. Eighteen hours until they are concealed and ready Bliss. for delivery. Oh, Rita. Leave the corpses alone, you sick bastard. We've got a job to do, eh? We make corpses, we don't clean them up. Let's go! Yeah, Bert, and he'll drop some fucking lore on you. <laughs> Am I safe? I'm getting dragged. Oh! The Titan. Okay. He's got me. We're limping. Sex? Yes. That's good, bro. We're getting a tight ink. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango seven two seven four. Trooper, take my Titan. Oh, this was my trainer. Use my helmet and my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. Ready? 
Rest in peace. This shit's starting off with a bang. BRB, just saw the most biggest hop ever my lab has done. What? But okay. <laughs> Handle that. <clears throat> lab as in like a dog? He jumped the stairs from the top to the bottom and is rushing downstairs. Oh shit. Yeah, go check on that. Shots? We're in. I need to go get a power source for him. I thought it died. Power low. Insufficient power. Alright, let's go get help our boy. So I'm also used to the year, month, day format. True. Where am I double jump? Bye bye. Okay, double jump offline. Sick. We're about to get that hoe though, I think. <laughs> hey, it hit me hard as fuck. Is that scripted? Bro, I'm stuck. Oh wait, you can grab shit. We can parkour. I'm dead ass stuck. The run is dead. <laughs> the run is dead. He won't grab onto the... Wait. We gotta parkour our way up. But to say, ain't no way we're fucking stuck. I want my double jump. This is Captain Cole of the 3rd Militia Grenadier Denny Militia Survivor. Yoink! We're relocating to the IMC Beacon at Map Grid 772981. Jesus, I get by a fucking meteor. Militia intruders, this is General Martyr of the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation. You're in violation of sovereign law. I'm offering you a brief amnesty. Surrender yourself to an IMC officer or force. Fuck you. Yapping. Require a charged Titan battery. That's what we're doing. Yeah, this movement is so clean. I don't care who's giving the orders. Blitz getting murks, General Marder. Us grunts get paid the same either way. Where's F from a melee attack? That thing in the mountains goes online and schedules. Oh, damn! Any militia forces in the range, we will find them. We're advised to discard them. We'll chop that nigga in half! Do not attempt to resist. Yes! Lethal forces are required. We're stealthy. Damn! Fucking uppercut! The 
Because that's like all the sound effects of Apex do. Or Apex has all the sound effects of this, should I say. Remaining, remaining. I have no ammo. This. <laughs> I love that. Are y'all blind? They're actually blind and deaf. Fuck off me, bitch. Can I wall, wall run this? I can. You're on baby mode? Let me have this. <laughs> You're right, but let me have this. Damn, these things are chunky. Oh, my aim is very good. Say my aim's very good and I just- God! They are deep back there! Hold even close to inspector to hack it. This is fun. I like this. We're still on the first mission. I'm excited to get in the Titan. See what that's just like. The James Callus has been set to take down IMC research facility on the planet Titan. No fall damage, insane. This isn't. I thought this was a the burst. Still, I'm tripping. Run, my boy. Ooh. That was sick. Hell yeah. Online. 
Adjusting focus. Are you all right, pilot? I'm good. I get dialogue? Yes. Yeah. Who are you? I am BT-7274, a Vanguard-class titan of the Militia SRS, Marauder Corps. You may call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. I will remain here. I like him. Until I am mobile, I will assist you through your helmet radio when possible. Say less. Thing is tanky. I advise against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis indicates they are lying. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit! But don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood. But I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. Right, let's get a head start. Or a running start. I'm moving. I'm moving. Be careful. Pilot. You gotta get the momentum. Wait, you can see him. Then you get another jump and double jump after you get off the wall. Lastimosa. Captain Lastimosa linked with me 973 days ago. Shit. We gotta get better at the parkour. Keep plummeting to my death. Locked no on. All right, let's let's pull some stealth. Someone in the area. Ooh, my fault. Or to execute. <laughs> your ass, your ass. Damn, their melee is hurt too. He's fucking blind. There's no way. That was brutal. I like those executions. That's sick. People down here. Am I? Are you can. Let me get the Spitfire.
Close. BT, who is this voice? This is the commander of the Marauder Corps, a section of the Militia Special Recon Squadron, or SRS. Her name is Sarah Briggs. BT, is there anyone alive on this ship? No. Scans do not detect mm. any life signs within the MCS James McAllen. But 90% of the lifeboats have been ejected. There is still hope. This is actually a platformer. Alright, let's get back to our boy. Drop out. Oh, there's a collectible. I don't know if I'll try and get all those. Oh, but, uh, if I see him, I'll get him. Pilot, our location has been compromised. Hurry up and reboot. I thought it was him. Drones are IMC scouts. Enemy reinforcements will be on their way. We hurry must up, complete the neural link immediately. Boot up. Please install the final battery. Power at full capacity. Oh, yeah. Pilot, we must establish a neural link in order to proceed. Come in. Please embark when ready. <laughs> We're going in. <sighs> hey. I was hesitant. Protocol one, link to pilot. Establishing neural link. Neural link established. Rifleman Jack Cooper. You are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT-7274. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Our orders are mission? to resume special operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. I bet. I'm detecting incoming enemy forces. Protocol 3. Protect the pilot. Reinitializing critical systems. Bro, this is hard. Vortex shield online. The vortex shield catches incoming rounds and missiles. Release the button to launch any Damn. captured objects back at the enemy. That's hard. And it's auto tracking. I can't move yet. This is all I can do. Pilot, the acolyte pod is online. This shoulder mounted rocket pod will lock onto multiple enemy targets. The longer oh. you hold down the button, the more locks you will achieve. This thing is OP! Neural link complete. Primary weapon control and motion link re established. Oh, I can move. Pilot, enemy Titanfall detected. Yo. We will have to find our way to safety. Get ready. This is badass. You sure about this? Yes. Trust me. He wants smoke. Oh, 1v1! That's the nigga who killed us! Is that a shield? Shoot shit. Your ass. Ah, down. Well 
done, pilot. We can punch. Our combat effectiveness rating has increased. Turn that nigga to dust. Pilot, We're better. I detect more IMC salvage teams on the way. Our only chance of survival is to uphold our mission of rendezvousing with Major Anderson. Until then, you and I are on our own. Marking your HUD. Let's get it. We must move quickly. We have so many abilities, bro. This is nice. Blood and Pilot, rust. The IMC will continue to search for us. Our only chance of survival is to rendezvous with Major Anderson, <laughs> 60 clicks from our current location. We will have to improvise and adapt if we wish to survive. Um, how far is a click? Is that a mile? I'm not really a shooter gamer, but I play this. Same. I mean, I play shooters and shit, but like, this shit different. Oh, we boost forward. Shield up. Pussy. Hmm. battery. What's how we do HP? Aren't you American? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't grow up shooting. I mean, some of us do, but not for real. It's not super common as you would think. Normal people don't grow up with a gun in their hands. If you grow up with a gun in your hand, there's something wrong with you. I mean, not really even then. If you're taught, like, proper discipline and stuff, it's fine. You gotta respect the weapon. Blasting, chill. That was my ult. Pilot, this Titan weapon is Rootin' tootin' ready for shooting. I did, but I don't shoot niggas and don't play in too, too many pools out here treating it like it's a toy. Dead ass. No respect for the, the firearm. Concept of love requires admiration, attraction, like, I grew up around them, but I didn't actually shoot my first shit until I was, like, my teens. Pilot. With the tone to have, we can lock onto enemies and target them with tracking rockets. This will be useful in direct combat. Press F1 on BT. F1, that is so inconvenient for me. It's weird. Pilot, our path through this facility is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a control interface nearby. Is 
disembark. Ooh. Are we free to go? Come and go at will? Bro, this game is dead ass. Very nice. Snap the nigga neck. BT's just fighting on his own. Bro, he's so sick. He's him. Stab that nigga in the cheek. BT, I got you, bro. Maintenance override engaged. Opening flow regulation gate. Warning: toxic fumes dispersing in main chamber. Activate toxic fumes main chamber. Procedures. Let me out. Pilot, the safety airlock has sealed you in the control room. You must find another way out. We have no choice but to split up. Split up. Sounds risky. Given our dire circumstances, this is a risk worth taking. Pilot, I am tracking your location. Recommend you seek an exit. You got it, BT. You do the same. Copy I don't know if I want this big ass gun anymore. Give me a shoddy. Let's get a grenade. <laughs> Talking shit okay. right now. That's okay. That's all good. Kraber? Do we want the Kraber? Jumped in piss. And the boys are fucked up in here. A squad is taking a beat. They can use some help up ahead. I got you. Bro thought he was him, busting in here like the fucking Terminator and shit. Trippy. Back shots. Reinforcements on your six. We've got time. I'm not doing no long range fire, but I don't want in the axe. I want in. I 
I want in. Is that a homie? No, it's not a homie. She shit on my blanket help when to make coffee. And <laughs> that bitch saw the moment for revenge. Give her more cookies and tea. That's what she's waiting on. Shit on. You go ahead, sir. Look how much different that went. She left her booger. Dead ass. You can't be leaving her, bro. When you go places, she needs to be on your shoulder. You're tripping. You you deserve it. Truthfully. I'd shit on your blanket too. I feel like we've been walking for days. Do you require rest? Yes. Your vitals appear no. to be stable. I didn't mean we to put yes. He thinks I'm lazy. Support, buddy. I can hold you. Not bad at all, friend. I just hope you're better than the last one I killed. Well, this shotgun is so good, it's shit in Apex. Blanket white or a colored blanket? <laughs> Fallen's about to give you tea on how to remove the stain. Is this even somewhere I need to go? I think so. A helmet. Find a way to join B2. That's all it says. Did I go the wrong way or something? No, because I opened this door. Ah, this way. Pilot, exercise caution. You too, BT. Where are you? I'm following the stream of sludge. The current is strong up ahead, suggesting an exit. We care about our robot. BT hard. That's my boy. Long time no see, BT. On the contrary, your helmet provided me with a live feed of your actions. You fought well out there, pilot. The Thank you, bro. Thank you. Gassing me. The next chamber, marking your HUD. Twelve fourteen, pilot spotted. I am C security forces. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. Fuck off. I better have a boss fight. Bitch, watch out. Ooh, give me the Kraber. I'm out of ammo for this, though. Huh? 
bonus gender bent to see if views increase when <laughs> you're right i'm gonna take that art and bring it on stream as my little sister or some shit The VTuber model of it was pretty cute. Um, Objective survive. Sludge balls contain a high concentration of heavy metals. See, is there boost jumping or shit? How hard can it be? Just shoot! Blind firing into my pilot's combat zone would be a violation of Shoot, nigga! Give your girlfriend the mic. She's streaming right now. She's playing Super Animal Royale. things. Braver going crazy. I just killed two of them bitches with one bullet. Can you stop? Those are a parkour on my ass. Bro, fuck me. Holy shit! My boys here. My boys here. Why are these hoes? I heard them screaming. Pilot, that was a difficult battle. You handled yourself well. I have noted it for the record. I have identified an exit on this side. This way. What is this Syscon? When AI made bonus into a marketable little figure, I laughed. Bro got the Funko Pop treatment. Ban Presto exclusive. <laughs> Would you pre-order me? Controls transferred to pilot. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. And that slide was smooth. Google it? Okay. Alexa, what is a syscon? Syscon, a person with an unusually strong and probably sexual attachment to their sister. One of the numerous Japanese complex portmanteaus that indicate real-life creeps and fictional doujinshi protagonists. 
<laughs> I'm definitely not a cis con. But I will protect. The robot is hard. I would if it was real. Fuck it, bro. I'm coming out with my own figure. It's gonna be cheap as fuck from China, but we ball. Would you pre-order it? It's not even gonna be painted. You were not invited to Kane's party. And that's why you're dead. <laughs> well, well. Now the runaway hero. Now that SRS Vanguard class. Type. Limited to five pieces. Woo! Now we're talking! First come, first serve. We got a boss fight. Let's get this party started, scrub. Fire hurts. Lego size? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have shield too. That bitch got lucky. I was about to whoop his ass with that. Bitch, I will punch you. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch oh, ass no. nigga. No. You talked all that shit. You just got rolled. That boy's in my ass. Kane's helmet radio is still intact. We should retrieve it. This shit is fluid as fuck. Or just think about it. One day we're actually gonna have merch. It's gonna happen. I don't know what it's gonna take for that to happen, but one day we're gonna have merch. has a strong history in warfare and we got knees in the air advantage in order to survive we must keep moving rage <laughs> and we're gonna have t-shirts we're gonna have fuck we're gonna get a uh one of those gamer subs sponsorship we have our own cup our own fucking energy drink powder flavor we're gonna be in <laughs> we're gonna be in i think i'm coping we're gonna be in to the rendezvous point I recommend we proceed. Pilot mode engaged. Body pillow on oh God. Watch Plushies, nigga. Oh shit. That's gonna be tough. What is this place? Accessing files. Unknown. What are we doing here, BT? We must proceed through this facility and continue to the right point with me. Scorch. Gun throw attack. Ah! It's just loud as fuck. Hey, you have to, you have to turn that shit down, my boy. I was shooting a fucking cannon. My bonus body pillow. Yes, okay, sir. Ash. She's a character in Apex. Wow. What? Out. Who's Blisk? He is a war criminal, wanted by the militia, commonly employed by the IMC. Blisk was responsible for the death of my previous pilot. I like this hug that they give you. This 
just running from me. Can I just step on them? Okay. Why <laughs> they turn into dust? I feel bad. Lucky I can't get in there, pussy. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. I need to disembark. Ninja stars? Give me. I didn't know this game had no fucking ninja stars. Transferring controls to pilot. Sorry, boys. Get oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now my shit rock. My robot. Bro, whatever the fuck that was just treated me like I was a normal person and just yeeted my shit. That's, that's um, it's not good hit this time. I'm vaporizing them. Like, what do you even do if you see a fucking titan running at you, bro? Like, it's GG's. Like, it's dead ass over there for you. Bro, this shit's so strong. Oh. I like this one. Good work, pilot. Your skills are greatly improved. Oh, he's gassing me. Another new loadout. I think that's the one I just shit on. Cargo lift offers a shortcut through the facility. Check your HUD for the control panel. Good idea. Thank you, pilot. Hmm. 
We're boys. The robot is very true. Very cool guy. One more way. One more way. Damn, he's getting yoinked. He's getting yoinked. Oh, he grabbed me. <laughs> he's so hard. I didn't even know that would happen. So that's not what happened. I think I got glitched. <laughs> Drop my ass off in the abyss. It it was crazy because it like sucked me in up there. I thought I, I thought that was what the fuck I was supposed to do. Looks like the automated security in this place is picked up. Where is he? This is crazy. Pilot. Cooper, if you read me, I'm being taken to this facility substation. I fucked up. Oh, shit. What is it? BT, how do I get to you? You must follow the pipes to the lower levels. Warning. My helmet. There's a purple sniper. Alright, follow the pipe. Yeah, there's no fall damage, I don't think. I can see IMC infantry scattered throughout this facility. Be careful, pilot. Fuck. This hoe is hunting us. You scuttle that place if you have to, eh? Let's go. Pilot, I'm being taken down an assembly line. There may be a common exit. I recommend you follow the flow of the platforms. Pilot, this facility is extremely dangerous. Watch for crushing hazards on the assembly line. Bro, what's you even facing me? Alright, try not to be crushed. Got it. That looks kind of, Damn! That looks kind of difficult, though. Get rid of the creeper. Wait, let me on! Give me the shotgun back. That shit's good. 
As long as I can aim the shotgun, it eats. Reload! I'm running out of ammo. Or I ran out of ammo to that. Shit. I'm gonna keep it though, just in case I run up on some more. Ooh. I think we're safe. I don't think we're getting crushed here. Mass producing homes. Oh, they're putting furniture and shit. I miss BT. Playing as a robot is so fun. I can't fucking see. I've always hated like those self-destructing ass enemies. They're such a pain in the ass. Brother? Bro Ain't no fucking way. Oh, he should have been dead. Tripping. Bro had invincibility when he was doing his jump. More shotgun ammo would be sick. I don't hit the same when I don't have it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, checkpoint. Hard. Where to go? I came from over there. What is this way? In. Fuck off me. I hope this is where I should be. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> Get on one of these holes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. We go. Then. Wow, this. There you go. This is incredible. Zach with the raid. Yo, let's see. What were you streaming? Shout out, Zach. P four. Okay, how far did you get? Well, welcome in gamers. Appreciate the raid, Zach. I hope you had a good stream. We're playing some Titanfall 2, and it's this shit is hard. I set up my new iPhone. Gonna miss my personalized Zelda case. Huge. What kind you get? You get the 15? Or whatever the new one is? Good, we beat you. There was a meat grinder. You okay? I'm undamaged. However, I do not believe this is a food processing plant. In my luck, this place is going to turn itself inside out. Or upside down, considering the circumstances. Hey, BT hard. 14? Oh, wow. 15? Got you. Good shit. I think I have a 14. I think. 13 or 14. We love Titanfall. Have you played Titanfall, Zach? The 15 screen is small as shit. No way. Not like this. Did you get like the 15 Max or whatever? Like the big one? I always get the big ones. I like the big ones. The Pro Max or whatever the fuck them hoes are. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dying. I'm dying. Alright. This is hard. Using fucking furniture. This is throwing me off. My head hurts. Titanfall 2. Yeah. I got the normal one, but I'm not complaining. Shit. Them hoes are still nice. Booger shit on my mouse pad when I was playing with her. I'm throwing her outside. <laughs> Let's go, Booger. Hell yeah. I need some chapstick. I got cold as shit, but my lips are dry. Oh, I keep going up, I think. No, is that where I came from? No, I do keep going up.
and Just bite him. <laughs> it deleted Smoge? Why? Why does it do that? Smoge is like an essential. There we go. That's weird. That's like the second time Smoge is just moved. Well done, oh, <laughs> I missed it. Oops. Which one am I supposed to jump? I'm trying. Why is she coaching me? We're going to have a 1v1. Scenario one two seven. It's a whole ass area. Three one four. Things I hear from Bree stream make me want to cringe out of existence. The thirteen year olds gotta stop flirting with her. Hey, bro, that's just life on the internet as a female. What next? Delivering militia test subjects. Why am I in another training session? This shit looks like Red Dead 2. Oh fuck, those are my homies. Scenario 127, load complete. Let us begin. Deploying sectors. Blasted that man in the head. Pilot, your heart rate is accelerating. Are you in distress? Hey brother, I'm in a tutorial. That's what I'm in. I'm kind of busy, BT. Keep in combat. Utilize your cloak. It will temporarily make you invisible. Initiating IMC Reaper test program. Are they bringing out a Titan on my ass? Oh no. I don't have a Titan. How do you fight a Titan with no Titan? This bus? Your tactics are impressive. 
Alright, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Deploying this. additional reaper to test scenario. Let's make this a little more interesting. He's tweaking. Oh my god! It's fucking exploding. You don't even get a chance to like react. I gotta destroy these toys. I'm not trying to get fucking exploded. My homies are dead. about to be a boss fight? Can you blow up? Still breathing. You? Still operational, but unable to escape. I have detected an opening in the outer wall. You should get out of there while you can. Marking your HUD. Oh, let's go. As I should have expected, weak ass tutorial. Perhaps I have no choice but to step in personally. Rare miscalculation on my part. I'm about to fuck you up. I'm him. Oh yeah, we're about to have a 1v1. She's getting in trouble. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. The price I'm putting on his head. You can buy all the toys you want. Sector 4 Charlie. Detonate charges 21 through 29. I want my shotgun back. This is Ash. Ooh, a master. Another shotgun. It's not the shotgun I had, but it'll work. She finna win? Nah, we're better. Yeah, she is an apex. I think there's like two characters like directly ripped from Titanfall in Apex. I think one of them's that Octane guy, and then her. But I, I could be wrong. I don't play that game. I want to. But I don't know, it just don't be hitting. I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your HUD. If Apex felt like this to play, then I would play it, but it doesn't. Apex just feels so clunky to me. Wait, BT? It's right there. Bro, 
Bro, he's locked in. This is a highly dangerous environment. I suggest you embark, pilot. Guess I embark, but. That's my nigga, bro. He's got my back. These Titans suck. I don't know what happened. Fuck off my bitch. Sorry, pilot. But it's all over. You got any HP? There you go. Shit's so deep. What is this tether bullshit? Easy dubs. This gun sounds so fucking meaty, bro. I think this may be my favorite fighting for me. My favorite loadout. Which is hard. It's so good. It's so strong. There's Ash. She has sauce. Oh, yeah, she can teleport and shit. Let her pull up again. I got something for that ass. She's hurt, she's hurt. Bye bye. Security lockdown disengaged. Surface access is authorized. Pilot, the security lockdown has been disengaged. I recommend we leave through the both said she would win. SMH my head. I'm better. Let's go BT. Pilot, I have concluded we should take no further shortcuts. <laughs> yeah, no shortcuts, bro. Bro had us in a fucking house making facility. Goblin should check general. Oh. Yeah. I'm engaged. 
stream. So I gotta set another shifty shitty hit. I'm not sure if Goblin's still here, but you can ping her in the Discord. I will meet you on the other side. Don't get captured again, BT. I will avoid all shortcuts. Overseer requests the fuck? I'm out my body. What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. I advise time rifts? Neutralizing the militia forces. Oh no, this game is crazy. May I help you? I don't even have no shit like this. I just wall ran on seats. some avatar ass creatures out here what is this place the IMC has multiple scientific research facilities throughout the frontier however this particular one is unlike any known to the militia how many of these facilities are there in the eight Indian. standard months prior to Operation Broadsword, the ninth militia fleet captured or destroyed over 29 such installations. None of these remains match the genetic profile of Major Anderson. He may still be alive. I recommend you check the main <laughs> taking up bodies. I would accompany you, but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door. I'm doing my keep. On the contrary, you are proving yourself to be much more than a class 3 rifleman. I suspect Major Anderson will be impressed. Is it person you? I found Anderson. He's uh, in the ceiling. He's extremely dead. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. Very funny. My intention was not humor. Oh yeah, that was our mission. To meet up with bro, and he's fucking part of the ceiling now. Pilot, if you hand me Anderson's helmet, I will analyze it. With the death of Anderson, command of Special Operation 217 now transfers to you. Congratulations on your field promotion, Pilot Cooper. Thank you. The following is Anderson's mission briefing from Commander Sarah Briggs of the Militia SRS. Major Anderson, two weeks ago we intercepted IMC comms. They found something on Typhon. A massive blast of energy was discharged at this location, creating Great time distortions. War. I want SRS on the ground to infiltrate the facility. Roger that. I'll get some answers. This wrist-mounted device we recovered during Operation Grizzly should protect you. We know the IMC have contracted Kuban Blisk and his mercenaries to protect something critical there. So watch your back. And Anderson, you know how much I love writing death reports, so don't go it alone. The SRS is a team. Pilot. The data Major Anderson collected appears to be incomplete. We are duty bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Recommend we locate Anderson's wrist mounted device before proceeding. I didn't see any device on Anderson. It must be on the other half of his corpse. Bruh. I detect a breach in the security services building. I will provide access. I will remain here and scan the ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the device. Cooking? He pointed? Yo! <laughs> BT hard! There's gotta be an easier way, BT. I will work on it. 
You just fucking jab him into that bitch. Oh, it's good, Agami. Oh my But there are a lot of niggas in here. They are like zombies. They're like covered in moss and shit. Okay. Noted. Do not melee them. They they will win. As soon as that door opens, I'm going. Bye bye. My shoddy. Give me. Playing some FF7 remake right now. Hell yeah! Did you finish God of War already? I can get hit in his memories. This shit is nuts. I still need to finish FF7 Remake. I don't even know how far in I am. I Last time I played it, I just like finished the mission where you had to get into an arena with like a big ass house boss battle thingy and then i stopped sorry anderson we can just time skip yo this is insane I didn't expect this game to have shit like this. Damn, this all getting slaughtered. Ah, looking for the wounded animal Atreus and God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Yeah, if I could go replay that game again, like brand new, I, I would. Shit, the first one and Ragnarok, those games are so good. Matter of fact, I was watching like lore on that game the other day. Like even though I've already played it, like just the the world is so cool. I think about that game pretty often. Does that want us to go? Ah, yo, that's so hard. Yeah, I I see the hype. I really do. This game's good, bro. Log playback. Anderson log 301. The 
IMC found something all right. It can fold space and time. It sure as hell didn't build it. But they're restoring it. Whatever they're planning, it's potentially catastrophic. Anderson out. I don't think there's like a cooldown on this. I think I can just do it as long as I want. Where do I go? What is this? I don't want me to get in it, but I can't. Anderson's log three four two. The fold weapons power source is called the Ark. Doesn't look like they perfected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Ark prepped for delivery and en route. We're getting a lot of lore right now. FF7 Remake, I played some of it for two days, and I'm about to face the robot you had to weaken by finding key cards in previous rooms. I think you're farther than me. I think. I don't remember doing that. Spin up the outer ring. Test the will commence once the arc is in place. But then again, it has been a while, so I, I probably did. I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, the target's like... Oh! Yeah, but I did not think this game was built like this. Oh, fuck! Chill! Those fucking dogs. Caught my ass in the past lacking. The big robot mofo. Oh, that's like the beginning of the game. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't really think I have to flop back and forth. Fuck off. We're just casually time traveling. I'm on chapter seven. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I thought there was like, I didn't know there was more than that. So yeah, you're definitely farther than me. Gotta be. Cause I don't remember that. But if you're that far, don't spoil, because I would like to finish it someday. Fuck, I wasn't looking at my screen. <laughs>
We just had to deal with the lever timing. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So I think it's safe to safe to say that you're farther than me. Wall run. Geek. Oh, bro, that's so cool. I gotta keep flopping back in between these hoes. Holy shit! Wait, wait. That's sick. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. I'm saying the this pain you get there, trust me. Test. Say less. If I need help. I'll ask you. And they moved up the Hamber hamburger. Hamburger. What's good, Croc? How you doing, bro? Pants. Anderson is different. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Ooh. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Ooh, that broke the game. The tutorial will help you? Okay, cool. I don't know when I'll pick that game up and play again, but I definitely need to. Because last time I played it was Christmas last year. And I haven't booted it up since. I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Arc's energy signature. Let's go, BT. I have located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on their HUD. Wait, can I get in? It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Wow. You're just casually time traveling and fucking shit up. I can time travel in him. Where's my... Give me the... This one. So... Yeah, did the time travel replaced my... My keybind. The mission. I have marked the bridge controls on your HUD. You will need to extend the bridge before the full weapon test bed explodes. Wait, so what do I do? Oh, I gotta get out. The hell was the safety protocol? Initiate the 
Attempt immediately. Copy that. Do not allow the intruder to reach the arc under any circumstances. Nice. Scanning arc. That's cool, you can just hop on him. Path three controls the pilot. Nice. I hope I was supposed to do that. BT. Oh shit. Damn. Bro, we broke time. This is sick. <laughs> We're going in. To the end of this upcoming February to beat it because FF7 Rebirth will be dropping then. I'm not gonna have time because <laughs> Persona drops in February. So I think I'll be uh, putting Final Fantasy Remake, FF7 Remake on the back burner yet again. Well done, pilot. Also, I don't have a PS5. As Anderson discovered, so I don't think I could play it anyway. To destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. Remember, the way we're playing this game, it feels like we're like the last soldier of our kind type beat. We're always on our own. Pilot Cooper, Anderson is dead, but we can complete his mission if we can re-establish contact with the fleet. The interstellar beacon ahead will serve our needs. Let's hope someone on our side is listening out there. There is only one way to find out. We must uphold the mission. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. Ooh. Am I getting in? I'm just following. Scans detect minimal power functionality. I fuck with him because he's like sentient. He's doing his own shit, and he can fight on his own. I do care about Skyrim, bro. I'm always getting my ass beat. <laughs> Are you playing with mods still, or what would you decide on doing for the first playthrough? Hostiles confirmed. The stalkers appear to be programmed to attack the control room. I mean. Caution. I detect traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. Pilot mode engaged. New loadout. I can handle it. Unlikely pilot. The fog is deadly to organic life. We cannot go the mission if you are dead. Still modded, but I just left the, the beginner town. Off pilot, rip level I'm 33 niggas. <laughs> Bro, you had to do something wrong. Distress. Patching in. <laughs> hey, you out there, pilot? Are you reading us? We can use some help over here. This is Captain Cole for the third militia grenadiers. It can't be that hard off rip. There's no way. I recommend we help eliminate these stalkers and then make direct contact with the militia riflemen. Can I walk through this? It's like electric smoke. I thought it was harmful. Is this shotgun? Ooh. It's my favorite. Oh, that's friendly. No problem. Tactical option. Run them over. My 
20-ton chassis can eliminate smaller enemies. <laughs> Stop on them. Valid option. Threat neutralized. Well done. This victory has raised our combat efficiency rating. Easy. BT-7274 to militia forces. All threats have been eliminated. I'm six? Yeah, bro. You took the wrong route. Have you jamming in the boss fight music on FF7 Remake? Bro, that game has really good music. Thought it was a boss, now there's four of them? <laughs> yeah, bro, turn around. Find somewhere else. No more time travel. Our ship broke. The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation. Arc tool. Function. Generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah. Yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one in the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, I advise caution while navigating this facility substation. You must recover the arc tool. Good luck, sir. Hope you make it back. We've lost too many down there. Taking out Demeter was a huge victory for us. Good luck, pilot. We're off again on our own. You were fighting giants? Is it normal? Can one hit you send you flying? Oh, shit. That's tough. Yeah, but you just gonna have to run. This place is run by machines. Not like there's an elevator around here. I wish I could tell you what's down there. Or whatever it is. The last pilot in our unit went that way a few hours ago. Pilot, he never I am patched into your helmet display yeah. to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. BT, what's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. BT, remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Softball? Oh, grenade launcher. Get my shoddy back. Boys are fucking up. Reload, please. Too low. Can you shoot us up? Nice. Disable the turbo. My father, I didn't need to kill him. He's minding his business. The fan exhaust is offline. Do not be afraid. Your jump kit can take that fall. Arc tool detected at 30 meters. Ooh. 
appreciate you, bro. Thank you. He's sad. Turn on. Oh. <laughs> Where do I go? I gotta fuck it up. Why do you just make me stop going up? Charged up my biggest hit and minked one of them. His HP didn't move. Yeah, we're not ready. <laughs> Let me know how Skyrim is though once you like get in. I've never played Skyrim before, but like people only talk good about it. Sounds like they got you in the trenches. I miss fighting humans. These robots are too tanky. Let's see what bro does. Oh shit! We're hauling it. We're <laughs> fucking schmoving! Damn! And we're home. That was impressive, pilot. They're waiting for you back in the control room. No giving up today, guys. Easy peasy. I got y'all boys, don't worry. Put the team on my back. Slight work. We dead ass. Good work, pilot Cooper. I'm home. Now we can jump start the power to get the beacon functional. What do I need to bust? What do I bust on? Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time too. Open up. Appreciate the head pat. High radiation levels detected ahead. Radiation. Only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. Radiation. Stay in there too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. Radiation. So we gotta cook. Power at one 
This nigga was playing on hard mode. <laughs> Diagnostic complete. Power 100%. Now why am I getting my ass beat? My brother, you are in hard mode. First playthrough hard mode type shit. We got a blue balled. Not good. I bet the IMC are on their way. Adept is normal mode. Oh. <laughs> Let's go from easy or very easy, easy, normal. There's like two other difficulties in front of that. That's kind of weird. The situation could use your skills. I hope you're up for another trip to hell, Cooper. You'll need to repair the beacon on site and get back on site. I gotta go there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Maybe the game is just built like that. Be careful. We've already lost a lot of good soldiers over there. And you're gonna have to, dare I say, get good. Pilot. My memory recalls this pilot as an exceptional fighter, proven well during the fracture operation. What's Fracture? Fracture was the code name of a major combat refueling operation conducted by the militia on the planet Victor. We sustained many casualties, but the fleet survived. Damn. It's so one thing if I can roll, but you can't dodge for shit. Oh yeah, bro, Bethesda game's movement is so dog shit. That, that's one of the reasons I don't want to, like, play Skyrim for real, is because, like... I can throw you across the that camp. shit was made like just pretty insane. old i don't know if it was like before or after fallout new vegas but like the engine back then and shit no, still to this day feels clunky as balls he's throwing me he's throwing me wind three knots heading to bro four range 95 meters he's about to yeet my ass kilograms. trust me oh. i got you bro Woo! BT hard as fuck. Good throw. You're welcome, pilot. Good luck over there. Break that. Please. Yeah, yes. I love him. That damn pilot is going to use the beacon. End this. I'm counting on you. Let's get. All security on his is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the clan of Mon and last me me hanging. We're we'll making our own route. IMC dropships headed to your location. Yeah, bro, this is way less stressful than fucking Bloodborne. I'm having a blast. Run from me. A Yeet Redeem would have been good timing there. True. But alas, I do not have a Yeet Redeem. Skill issue? Why are these boys in here kissing? Damn!
Got a fucking Titan in here for me? You know, I can't lower the difficulty if this is supposed to be normal mode. <laughs> I think you're good, just don't fight the fucking giant. This fucking guy. on my fucking head. Bro, he is just punting me like a fucking ball. No, y'all not gonna treat me like this, bro. Y'all are on bullshit. Holy shit! There's non-stop explosions. Excuse me, sir. Add on from anniversary of survival mode, you can add to any difficulty. Maybe you can play that shit on giga hard mode. Motherfucker! Shit. Okay, we're good. Bot was cock blocking me. Oh my god. Where do we get up? Oh, I see. A massive, fuck it. Explode on impact. I shot it in between them. Yo, the Mastiff is hard. We 
Outplane targeting module detected. Check your HUD. I'm him. I killed one and save scummed. It's over. I'm on all their asses. <laughs> hey, get it how you live. We ball. Fuck it. How the fuck do I get over there? Do they drop good loot? Good. You were at the Do enemies respawn? Yes. To the far right to bring it within your reach. Take that with a grain of salt. I've never played the game before. Climbing. Getting my fucking ass ate. That nigga exploded. I didn't even touch him. Three. Oh, Bitch, watch out. Fuck off me. Pilot, the module is in the projector of that dish. Oh, shit. Dead. But I had more bunnies than I actually did. Rest in piss. Entering maintenance mode. Oh, it brought me over. I was just impatient. moving a little too hard. Oh, shit, I got scared for a second. Zip line. I'm gonna go up. I'm engaging hostile infantry. Welcome back, Cooper. Recommend we secure this area before proceeding with the I'm ready, I'm pilot mode. Shot. 
sprinting through these hoes. sensation further <laughs> funny bt you're funny apparently bt hard i keep Total saying that update. but it's so true he never module. lets me down the socket for the module is at the top of this dish a throw combined with I'll chat when I fold all these boys. Alright, bro. See you in two hours. He's throwing me again. Woo! Easy. Need more niggas in my life like BT. Who will throw me across the map. There's nine helmets on this one? Guarantee I missed all of them. Let's get this slow. Yeah. Go ahead. Kane and Ash are dead. Someone's been killing your mercs, and it looks like one of our radios has been nicked. Knew you shouldn't have hired those tossers. <laughs> Oi, pilot. This is Kuban Blisk. You've been listening to us, eh? You want to be a hero, yeah? Okay. Keep coming at me. Keep coming. But if I were you, you got the inside stop scoop. trying so hard to be a hero. You'll live longer. listening to everything that's been happening but i don't really know what's going on maybe i should pay attention more maybe i should listen harder got that you. boy got me that boy got me and he gave me a thumbs up Cooper, the, dish is back the goat online. Inbound. Boss fight time. <laughs> what the fuck? That wasn't supposed to happen. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Then execute the remaining militia troops. Reapers inbound. Just said Reapers inbound and I fucking died. Locked down the control room. Threats detected. Oh, the sword is the block in this. Nice. Oh, this time is... This might be my favorite. Caution. 
Anomaly detected. Possible hostile Titan. I am Sea Ground Squads. I'm looking for someone to promote. I'm also looking for someone to kill. You get to choose which one you will be. Yes, not exactly. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Sword pull. This thing is decent melee combat. I'm fucking with it. Oh, this is the guy. Boss time. See what you got up close and personal. just shoot his ass while he's doing his intro. HP. Wait. I went a little too hard. Alright, where are you? Bitch, I'm ready. He's already almost dead. Oh. Yo, fuck him up. Easy. I didn't know we could execute with the Titan. That was badass. And the boys in here are all still alive, too. Now we fired this hoe. 60%. Good. Almost there. 80%. Signal strength at maximum power. We are a go for transmission. Broadcasting data stream. Awaiting response. Here's hoping someone's still up there. Oh shit, bro. I forgot. I have Monday off. <laughs> Three day weekend. Commander Briggs, this is BT 7274. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Report intel to the fleet attached to the SRS unit. Solid copies. Good to hear you guys are still down there. We're receiving your data now. I think we're about halfway through the game already. I looked it up before I started. This game's only, like, if you just do main story and, like, just beeline that. You should finish the game in a little, a little over six hours. Acting pilot, Rifleman Jack Cooper. Wait a minute, Lastimosa linked you to a rifleman? Yes, he had no other options. Understood. We'll get you transferred to a fully qualified pilot. Objection. Nah, bro. Cooper is my pilot. Our combat effectiveness rating now exceeds ninety percent. Request Wait, permission to retain in. this link. Don't trip. You're lucky our backs are up against the wall, BT. Permission granted. That's high praise coming from a machine, Cooper. Thanks to your scan data of the Ark, we've tracked its energy signature to an IMC base right here on Typhon. We don't have much time. Let's go. Still getting my Skyrim modded on my Steam one. How easy was that? Because I know Knight was fighting that hoe all day the other day. <laughs> Damn, we all got titans in this bitch. Dropping in, boys. Give me my fucking pilot, we're taking down that wall. Actually, I might need 
I might need to bust. Unless we take out those cannons, we're not getting any closer to that ship. Wilson in position. We're here, good to go. All acolyte pods locked and loaded. This is Commander Briggs. Go weapons free. Wait. Give me... Fire! The whole ass scene. Actually, wait, they're busting a little too hard. Caught my shit that I threw at him. L4, I need you up ahead now. Push it like now. Damn. The boys are not fucking around. You know what? Give me. L4, I need you up ahead now. Detecting holding. Do you think you can stop a laser ball? That is a block. That is a block. Use your cores, people. No core into that underground entrance. Core Watch for flanking. That does a lot of work. as fuck. Nice shot, Pilot Cooper. We need to keep moving. Let's get it. Well, fighting with their Titans like that is pretty tough. Can you hear what you said? Twitch is nuts. Oh, um, I asked how long did it take you to get your Skyrim modded? Because I know Knight was fighting with his all day.
Holy fuck, I barely survived that. Watch out, we've got more company. I don't know how it works, should be no problem. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking how long it took you to do it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to play Skyrim, but I'm, I'm interested to see how your time compares to his. Backshots. looking for more mods to start i'm look i'm more along the lines looking if it took you like an hour two hours 30 minutes <laughs> i'm not asking you about the difficulty but if you want to tell me that's fine that's fine What does this one do? You oh, fly. Who's that? It's like a sniper? This Titan seems really good. Tether shot. Oh, I have a tether now, too. Just fuck me up. I need HP. Fuck. They got me. I gotta learn how to use this one. Tether trap. Who's for the ass? Flight four ready. Oh, I see how it works. I gotta when I aim in it charges. Holy shit, it's so good. Flight 4 
Oh, so that's what the tether is. I just gotta walk there. Did they did just kill the Grinjir. Far far. Bit, just the downloading part since it's Nexus. You said Emma had problem on the way. That's why I was saying it should be no problem while you know what you're doing. I don't know what he was going through exactly, but he was he was not having a good time. Suffering. All militia forces, move in on the Draconis. Where do you think you're going, Outlaw? Fuck, I missed. It sounds so loud in here. That is really loud. Oh, there's the homies. Go, go. Lift is late. a Sloan. The Ark is headed your way. I'll let Viper take it from here. See you soon. We're too late, boys. We're too late. Get to a ship. We're going after him. Okay.
I like that mission. It was just like full Titan combat. We haven't done some shit like that yet. Usually we got to get out and go parkouring. Assault. I don't think that hit shit. Oh no, it did it did. Flying? Oh. oh shit. Barker, nice of you to show up. You're welcome. Hey, yo, BT, let me in you, bro. We can't get past it. Cooper, I no longer have my I no longer have my RPG. Fast while I'm going to get thrown again. Let's go. Just like before. Not exactly. There are significantly more variables to throwing between two moving platforms. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I thought I was going to that one. with the triple take. That's my favorite gun for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm expecting this with their needs. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta kill everyone around it for it to be like fully cleared. Looks like that's all of them. I've got no hostiles in sight. Cooper, stand by. The six four are coming. I may have had problems since he may not know how it works since I hadn't to know it how it works from other games with Nexus like Starter. Got you. I really don't like dealing with Nexus. Like, I know it can be handy, but it's, that should just be getting in my way sometimes. Like, I just get the mods from the site, and I put them where they need to go myself. Hey, yo, she kind of bad. She kind of bad. I love this joke. Well, it's never boring. Just move your ass, Davis. You flank, you flank. Damn! They should have been deleted. I love this joke. Well, it's never boring. Just move your ass, Davis. Bro enjoys his job a little too much. I got stuck. I slid into him and I couldn't walk back. So I fucked the giants. Let's go. Get to the temple place behind it to continue my quest. Big ass spiders off rip. I turned off my game. An appropriate reaction to spiders. I saw spiders last night on Bloodborne and the game immediately was on bullshit right after. Spiders are just never a good sign. Keep up, bitch. I'm in front of you. Hold your fire, it's bulletproof. We're gonna breach the glass. Take your marks. We got by the stairs. Tango on the mezzanine. Shape charges are ready. Hey, Coop, watch out the 6 4 does it. Pilot Cooper. I'm gonna stick ready. with her. Is she bad? I'm ready. Breach it, breach it, breach it. Clear. 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 We're driving, so. Hold on, Tin Man. All call signs. Clean up hostiles and rendezvous with the Draconis. This is it. You're pulling away from the Draconis. Go left. You're going the wrong way. Pull it to the left. Nigga, I'm going to the left. That's it. You did it. You're your Titan Cooper. I'm done babysitting. Give me VT. For control to pilot. I love him. Cover you from the rear. Take the deck and get to the Draconis. Who do one? Vipers on station. Your journey. 
journey ends here. Pilot. I'm about to fuck you up. Cringe. I'm about to fuck you. I can't move. Better get a spider removal mod if it breaks my game. I'm not <laughs> Ready for fastball. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me in. Adjusting for wind resistance. Calculating. Oh, shoot. Shoot that nigga. Shoot him. Damn. I thought that dude was dead. He go. He's whooping ass. He's whooping ass. Wait, no. He's getting. He's getting fucked. He ripped his arm off. Is this safe? Quickly, we need to get off the ship. We are running out of time. This 
way, Cooper. It's Joe, man. Get the arc out of here. Negative. We are trapped. What are you doing? Protocol what are you three. Doing? I will Protect not the pilot. pilot. Not like this. He's so real, bro. I fucking love him. I mean, is that, that's BT back there, bro. He has no fucking legs. I think we got captured. Lisk, your problems are not my concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. Oh. I'll get you your precious gaga, you useless nap. Damn, bro, they Sorry, fucked us up. You're gonna open up and give me what I want. Voice command. Not recognized. Let me just rip it out of him. Can't risk it. The arc's unstable. Listen, hero. You have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your titan to open up. No, I'm good. BT. Open that hatch when this guy's dead. Real. Still trying to be a hero, eh? Pussy. I have a lot of dodge riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your Titan, if he doesn't open up, I will shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ocular systems. Marginal. Cannot visually acquire pilot. Stand him up. See him now? Right here, right here. Yeah? You see him now? Functions compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down. Some things, some things. This still nigga's work. devious. Now open up. Or I'm going to shoot your pilot in the head. You still remember numbers, da, don't da, you? Da, da. I'm going to count to three. so hard was it that's the problem with teams if you don't win together you die together Bro, what a fucking goat <laughs> what a fucking goat I chill Four. You just fucking executed BT. Oh no! Nah. Gotta get my leg back. We're in the trenches. Objective, survive. <laughs> My boy. Over here. That's good, bro. Cooper, I can no longer uphold the mission. But you still can. Take the seer kit. It is your best chance for survival. He's giving me his head. Bro, his head had blicks in it. Survive, evade, resist, escape. Right. All call signs fire at will. Captain, do you have a fix on that signal? 
I've got something, but it's faint. Cannot confirm. Commander Briggs, I'm picking up a data core, but it's a weak signal. Are you sure you have the coordinates? Boost the signal. <laughs> I need to get through to them. <laughs> Commander Briggs, I have a lock on the Oh, this is one of those, uh, smart pistol things. Auto tracking. How copy over? Cooper ain't saying shit. We're locked in. BT seven two seven four. Cooper, Cooper, this is Commander Sarah Briggs. If you can read me, get to the bridge one click north of your position. We've only got one shot to turn this fight around, and you're it. Our fleet's moving in on the fold weapon. We're coming. It's not over yet. This was actually a fucking cheat code. You're headed in the right direction. Just keep moving. The anti-air defenses are extremely heavy around the fold weapons. We're having trouble getting boots on the ground and we're running out of options. This one's so good, what the fuck? Wait, is it gonna be BT when I put this shit in? Wait, are boys still with us? Hello, Jack. Let's fucking go. New chassis, same Titan? Old paint, same data core. BT7274, good to go. Hell yeah. Damn! Time to complete our mission. Bro, I got a fucking pole on my ass. Cooper, I'm throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to stop the fold weapon. I need you to get inside its control room. I'm stomping on all you pussies. All battle stations. I want close fire support on Cooper and BT. Do whatever it takes to cover them. Solid copy. We'll go. Cooper, get up that hill. We'll cover you. Move. Well, God damn. We have to learn how to use this new one. Cooper, I'm throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to stop the fold weapon. I need you to get inside its control room. Commander Briggs to all battle stations. I want close fire support on Cooper and BT. Do whatever it takes to cover them. Solid copy. We'll go. Cooper, get up that hill. We'll cover you. Move. I'm tripping out with you.
Says he without the fucking sword. Wasted that. They have a lot more HP than I do. Target locked. Drifting. Mini gun is going crazy right now. You can crouch in him. Damn, new PC hard. Targeting systems. Harmony. Coordinates 264.588 recorded. You have your money, Bliss. Now what, two bosses? My Wait, forces will take this is the. Oh, we're about to fall. He's gonna run! But that's the bitch Keep who killed BT. We gotta get our lick back. Salvage. I'll do this one for free. It is over for you. Wait. Okay, Don't I have all my loadouts. Loadout. Did she just teleport out? So you handle yourself well. Old weapon files in case passing stage two. Coordinates locked. Report system. Planetary designation. Oh, see. Harmony. Uh, all right. I'm ready for more. All right, bring your ass back. Time to die. That's a lot of damage. Passing stage three. Calculating skill for my projection. Goodbye, 
again. Let's see how you handle some Let's see how you handle Reapers, bro. These niggas are fodder. They don't even have a health bar. Execute the bitch. Disruption of electromechanical units, including Titans, will be severe. Fold weapon priming sequence deploying the arc. Are we good? We good. Booting up? What you booting up? Skyrim? Skyrim? <laughs> Did you get the anti spider mod? It's your lucky day, Hira. Not going to kill you. Hey, open the hatch. Let me pop his shit. But you don't get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Apex. <laughs> this nigga just invited me to Apex. Put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. What are you doing? What do you think you are doing? Been in the fucking trenches. I have a solution. In its exposed state, my reactor core may be able to destabilize the arc at the center of the full weapon. What are you saying? We can blow it up. I'm sending you coordinates for a dropship rendezvous. Ship. Coordinates received. We'll be there, but I don't see how you can. Trust me, I have done the math. I sure as hell hope so. We're on our way. Good luck, both of you. Briggs out. With me inside is crazy. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back. Oh, we're about to fucking launch. He's throwing my ass midair. Bro. Bro, my ankles are made out of fucking titanium. This is a good game, bro. Really fucking good game. What the fuck even is this, bro? She called me pilot. She called me pilot. 
I thought I was just a rifleman. Did that planet just blow up? I don't know. Is BT making it out of this one? Pilot Cooper. A lot of people owe their lives to you. And to BT. What's it? Barker, set a course for Harmony. Take us home. You got it. We still gotta kill that dickhead. The destruction of Typhon saved the planet Harmony. The militia calls this planet their headquarters. Millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Typhon. After the tech swipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. Yeah, bro, after my journey with BT, I'm fucking retiring. Signing off. You simply don't get a new Titan after some shit like that. You retire. Wait, that's it? Damn, I finished the game like in three hours ahead of schedule. There's no way that's it. They said six hours. I just fuck around and set a speedrun record. Tired, that's why it ended so soon. Gotcha. Good choice. Good choice. Both of y'all are on Skyrim right now. If someone gifts me Skyrim, I'll play it, but I don't think I'll ever play that shit or buy that shit myself. <laughs> I've went this long without owning it. Sir, Jack Cooper it was fucking the dwarf guy. I forget his name. The voice of BT. I'll know the name if it is. No, it is not. That's so gross. <laughs> I'm doing like three times. That's that's how I am with Fallout. I, I buy Fallout on every console that I have. I got that shit on PC, Xbox, fucking back when I had a PlayStation, I had it on PlayStation. Or not PS4, but like PS3. That was the, I played Fallout 3 for the first time on PS3. A pretty cool Titan.
I'm scared to skip. I don't want to miss anything. Like any after credit stuff. in this game <laughs> that nigga is in everything Yuri Lowenthal has a fucking resume on him bro damn he's even made his way to persona in this game even at full price that story was fantastic I only paid five bucks for this I don't know how good the multiplayer is probably really sweaty <laughs> But I guarantee the people who are on there now are like the elites that have chosen to stay stay on the game through thick and thin. It breaks my heart that I'm gonna have to get rid of the Christmas shit on January 1st, bro. That's tough. That's so tough. I love Christmas and everything it brings with it. Just the time of year, bro. I love it. I love it. Don't you dare. <laughs> I have to. If I leave it, it'll it'll bring up painful memories of how it's not here anymore. No. You know what, Art? Hold up. After these credits are up, I got you. Yeah, bro. I think I gave Skyrim a legit try. <laughs> it ain't for you. <laughs> That's understandable. I mean, sometimes it should have said it ain't for you. That's just how it be. Not that, and there's not anything wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. They said this campaign was going to take six hours. Bro, how? Who the fuck is taking six hours to play this? I mean, I don't think I, like, rushed it by any means. I, 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 did, I went where they told me to. I killed everything they told me to. And I finished it in, what, like, three and a half hours? My anxiety turning too many quarters praying I don't see a spider. <laughs> it's understandable, bro. But hey, at least you got your run back and got it modded. So you still took a dub. I think. <laughs> well, the sequel to this game is Apex Legends, so we're booting that up now. <laughs> Woo! That's the true W. I definitely think I'll come back to this game in the future. I mean... The game has to be hard, right? 
It's like, there's no reason that that shit gets re-released every year and everyone's shitting their brains over it. Like, it's gotta be good, right? What does this mean? Okay. We're done. Good game. I liked it. It fucking... Since this is an EA game, it installed the fucking EA launcher on my PC again. Uh, I legit just uninstalled that shit. I, I'm about to uninstall it again. Open up, bitch, so I can uninstall you. Yeah, this guy... I'm not logging in. Fuck off. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I finished it in four and a half hours. It says to for total playtime. But that doesn't make sense because I've only been streaming for almost four hours. Oh, I'm an idiot. I had the game running for a bit before I started. <clears throat> Alright, Art, let me get you your, your ornament. See, where's your other one? Actually, we'll, we'll put it like we'll put you right here. <laughs> There you go, bro. You won. Congrats. Oh, um. <clears throat> fucking damn. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so. I don't feel like playing anything else. But I don't want to end stream yet. <laughs> you want to watch videos with me while I eat? <laughs> I already did my gotcha dailies today. I'm out of shit to do. Send videos. Wait, Afro Sinju is live? Lies of P movie? Oh, this is like oh, a premiere. Yeah, it's a premiere. I do want to actually play that game. I don't know if I'll do it on time. Is it? He's been. Live for fucking nine hours? Like a lot. All right, me... No fucking way. Yeah, he's live. Like, live, live. <laughs> and he's been live for nine fucking hours. This nigga's doing a marathon. He streams, he streams for a long time. I thought he streamed on Twitch, but I guess that's why I never... Because I follow him on Twitch. I guess that's why I never see him. You're killing me. You're killing me. Because he's over here streaming for 10 fucking hours. Okay, this is like... Still better. Oh shit, I don't have this screen on. <laughs> I'm so here watching it. <laughs> okay, what is there to watch? I'll leave that on. Because we might just end up fucking watching that. Creepy video game Easter egg iceberg? Ooh. Video game cut content, hoaxes and rumors. And I love shit like this. 
Finally today we're covering one of my favorite things. It depends on what they got. If it's some bullshit that I'm leaving. Secrets, you got timestamps. Not just the run of the mill developer calling cards or hidden obscure I don't know, the more we go deep. Ones. Okay, okay. <laughs> the game by mistake. Hold on, I'm going to pause it. We're going to watch this. Let me go heat up my food. Yo, we're going to watch <laughs> we're going to watch this while I heat up my food. And I'll be back after I'm got this shit heated up. BRB. Do I have to respect for this? What does this one take? Ignoring Sophia? I don't think I'm ignoring Sophia. Who the fuck is Sophia? Let's talk to the team. Oh, man. Right, if I got 11 hours, I... Oh, I'm past the halfway point, though, right, chat? Contemplating it, bro. I feel like I, I I'm running out of juice now that I'm thinking that there's an end this like soon. I'm just gonna call it a fuck. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm more than halfway. If the stream's gonna cut off at 11 anyways, I'm just gonna do it myself, bro. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna be able to push through beating this thing. I'm I'm just gauging myself right now. I'm just I'm just I'm a, I'm tired. I'm gonna be grumpy. I'm gonna I'm just mad. I'm here now. I'm leaving. <laughs> It's different when I mentally prepared myself not sleeping. But like now, I don't know. Like I think mentally I threw the stamina that I had out the window. And I'm just succumbing to sleepy and grumpy and yep, all of it. So, um, I know you guys are talking about twerking. All right. The only problem with twerking is the camera setup I got. It's just not going to work. I have to stand up on my chair for you to see it. It's just not going to It's just not going to work, bro. So the part two is going to start off with me doing it. I have to like literally move my camera. I have to move it. I just don't want to do that right now. I got to move it, put on pants and pick my hair, bro. It's just those are three elements. Those are three elements. Not hearing that, bro. Well, guess what? This stream wasn't supposed to end in in nine hours. Now, was it? Why is YouTube have limits on how long I can stream? That's kind of crazy, don't you think? Don't you think? It is what it is, bro. You can literally spam next time. I have to get a thumbnail made. Um, I think I'm probably going to do Bloodborne and just beat that low key. Because I think I can beat that immediately. I think we got a good chunk left. How, how, how many hours do you think we got of this chat? You think I can beat this in 11 hours coming back? Six, seven. Five, seven. Okay, so you, but do you think within 11 hours of a limit on YouTube, you think I can do it? Definitely in 11 hours? Okay. Okay, so yeah, you know what? I'll just beat this. I'll beat this when I come back. And then after that, I'll do Bloodborne. Okay. Hey. I think this was an amazing turnout. This was dope. I appreciate each and every one of you that made my first stream on YouTube and a memorable time. Um, okay, I'm back. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I love y'all, bro. Is he uh, ending? The next one will start off with the twerking. Hey, he's ending. Alright, let's get it. Bro, I'm hyped for this. When did this drop? 
creepy, put in the game in such a secret Six days ago, so she knew. Alright, well, I'm munching. Today, we're looking into such cases in another iceberg chart created by Trainwreck. I am munching. Some of the creepiest video game Easter eggs to have been discovered over the years. I'm sure you probably don't need any more preamble, so let's just jump into the creepy video game Easter eggs iceberg explained. I hate that sound. I hear that shit on TikTok all the time. I don't like that shit. Not that it's like creepy or anything. It's just repetitive. GTA 5 Prologue Alien. Starting it off here, we have something I discussed in my GTA Myths iceberg. Not the creepiest thing Rockstar has ever put in one of their games, that's for sure, or even a GTA game for that matter, but still definitely an interesting easter egg. Essentially, in the prologue mission of the game, after getting into the car and escaping escaping from the bank you'll come across a small Why bridge like ass? you get out and walk under it to a it's small overused as fuck find like there's whole accounts alien. very similar in design that to the specifically Xenomorph, use that song for every single one of their videos very similar to the alien costumes encountered later in the milking game that shit wood studio set it can also be encountered a second time when you return to North Yankton as Trevor later on in the story not the last time we'll encounter GTA aliens on this list either Saints Row Hotline. A pretty strange, if not darkly humorous, Easter egg in the original Saints Row if you call the in game suicide hotline. And, well, I'll just play it for you. Original Saints Row was good. The fuck? Doom, John Romero That's fucked. <clears throat> this is an all-time classic, and probably one of the creepiest of the early gaming Easter eggs. In Doom 2, during the 30th map or the final level of the game, Icon of Sin, the final boss fight, usually referred to by the same name, contains a secret behind the boss's head, which can only be accessed by no clipping. Which, if you do, you are greeted with the head of Doom's creator, John Romero, impaled on a spike. You can also shoot at the head, and it has a taking damage animation. And the voice of the boss also actually hints at this easter egg, because if you reverse the audio, it says this. To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. Super Mario 3D Land Stage 4-4 Ghost in the level 4-4 for the game Super Mario 3D Land, <clears throat> released for the 3DS in 2011, I'm a typical VTuber right now. Easter egg which can be found near the flagpole at the end Just of the yapping. Level. Behind a fence, if you wait long enough, a ghost I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you. behind and linger for a while before disappearing again into the background without a trace. And it was thought for a while that this was the only appearance of the ghost in the game and was likely just a similar easter egg to that of the Hell Valley Sky Trees, and was just meant to spook unsuspecting players who went AFK right near the <clears> end of the <throat> level for whatever reason. But that isn't actually the full picture, because the ghost actually appears in a lot of the ghost-themed levels, either at the beginning or at the end of the level, as was the case with Stage 4-4. It's just that some of these sightings are harder to spot, and more cryptic than others. The Sims 4 1313 21 Chick Street. So this one isn't that crazy, at least by some of the standards of the later entries on this list, but one of the apartments found in Sims 4, located at 1313 21 Chick Street, is notable for being extremely cheap, and why is that? Oh. Oh, I get it now. Apparently the place is also possibly haunted, for obvious reasons, but also because of strange alleged noises heard in the apartment, the unlucky number of 1313, and a strange odor that resonates from the chalk outline. Almost as if someone died here. Hmm. Super Mario Galaxy 2, Hell Valley Sky Trees. Most of you probably know about this one, one of the most notorious Mario easter eggs and mysteries. In Shiverburn Galaxy located in World 5, using the first person mode you can find these two strange figures in the distance, watching Mario from the mountain. There are actually two additional That's pretty creepy bro, if I was a kid, to see. and but saw that I would've probably fucking cried. What about that name? 
Hell Valley Sky Trees. Pretty specific. Where where did that come from? Well, it's not just a fan given name. It actually comes from the files. That's what they actually named these sprites. Curiously enough, but that still doesn't elucidate. Is it matter in all of these? <laughs> there are theories as to what they could be, ranging from tree no. spirits of Japanese mythology and folklore to shadow entities that haunt your nightmares. However, we still don't really have an answer when You're it just comes cultured. to this mystery. The Sims prank calls. Back to The Sims again, and here we have a pretty creepy message you can receive as a prank call in The Sims. Like, just getting hit with this message out of nowhere would be unsettling enough, but couple That's it with pretty this creepy. music, and uh, yeah, I can see why players of this game dreaded getting any type of phone call message. Star Fox. You barely see them unless you use the camera out of bounds to zoom in. Out of this oh. dimension is a very weird hidden level so in like, the original Star Fox. The normal, normal player probably Once wouldn't even see it, that you shit. Can never escape. The only way out is to just die. Basically, it's an infinite warping void with strangely shaped planets and asteroids that look like faces, as well as text which can be observed reading the end, reminding me of that liminal space bookstore. The only way to access it is to do a bizarre easter egg in which you shoot a certain planet on the asteroid belt stage which spawns in some kind of bird and once you fly into it, you're taken to this stage. Sonic CD Sound Test Again, this is a pretty infamous creepy easter egg, but I'm not ashamed to admit this one definitely scared me not only as a kid, but still kind of freaks me out to this day. Like, why is this in a Sonic game of all things? Someone please fuck? tell me. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. A sound test can be accessed from the main menu. That is pretty creepy. Down, down, I've seen down, that one before left, though. Right, A. Then you set the numbers to 46, 12, and 25, and are greeted by this unsettling message. Uh, Bro, that's still fucking scary. Way away. The Japanese text reads, fun is infinite, Sega Enterprises. And yeah, the creepy laugh and the sinister looking Sonic face. Like, was this really all necessary, Sega? Granted, the Japanese version is slightly less creepy due to the music being much more upbeat, but still one of the creepiest Sonic Easter eggs for the US sure. version got fucking first. That's way better. <laughs> what the fuck? We got scammed. Hall of Tortured Souls. I name dropped this in the last video in the Where Did These Images Come From Iceberg, <clears throat> but this is an infamous Easter egg hidden in Microsoft Excel 95. The actual hidden game itself isn't very scary or creepy in itself. The game in the Excel? Name makes it seem like it is. The Hall of Tortured uh. Souls. But it kind of makes sense in a way, and you'll see why in a minute. First, to access it, you have to open an Excel sheet, select the 95th row, tab over to the second column, column B, click on the About Help tab, and then hold Control, Alt, and Shift all at the same time, and press the Tech Support button, which will then launch the game in another window. It's a pretty basic game pretty where cool. you just walk around and look at different shapes until you eventually find the credits, as well as a picture of all the developers that worked on Excel 95, which I guess it's why that's given the title of Hall of Tortured Souls. And likely because of this pretty creepy name, it ended up being put into the back <coughs> of the shit? as level one. Excel is a really cool program. Detroit become the shit you can do in Excel is rank. like mind blowing. Not actually really creepy at all. Just a momentarily start. Like you can get fucking Excel certain on the main menu of the game. Just nuts. Oops. Well, because you, you game spent too much money on me. Well, so did she, so never mind. Just kidding. That's not creepy, that just pissed me off. Discovered Easter eggs. 
This is more of a general entry, the fuck but you mean? on the iceberg it links back to an odd header video <clears throat> discussing seven like Easter eggs which were never found. Like, it discusses a very cryptic literal Easter egg found in a Futurama like, PS2 game, game that was not just, the end like, of that answer. mystery, but as well as other referenced like, Easter eggs, oh, yeah, such as another like, unfound one truly, hidden in Fallout 4, which was discussed in an interview with Todd Howard. But I'm sure there are many, many other still undiscovered Easter eggs, new and old, still waiting to be found. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Handprints. Bruh, I have a story Not the tell. creepiest thing ever, but in a level called Bizarre Doors of Boo Mansion, okay. similar kind of to the Dude. ghost of Super Mario 3D Land, if you wait for Dude, five minutes all, next to this specific wall, ghost I'm almost done eating. will appear. Like um, but I think I'm gonna keep watching y, this. <laughs> I'm going to go for help. This refers to a strange unsolved mystery in Pokemon X and Y, which is located in Lumio Station, where you can find a suspicious note which reads, quote, I'm going to go for help, wait in the usual place. Nobody is exactly sure what this message is referring to, and does it have anything to do with the Same. Lumios Ghost Girl? Well, I shouldn't get too ahead of myself there because that's coming up soon on this list. Outlaws, alien spacecraft. Released in 1997 for PC, Outlaws is an early example of a first-person shooter, a western created and published by LucasArts. The Easter egg in question involves you throwing a piece of dynamite in an outhouse, which opens up a hole into some kind of sewer system, which eventually leads you to an alien spaceship, where you can see some aliens cooking a cow or something, before you're jump-scared by another alien, and the window is closed. Sims 2, Baba Yaga's Hut. In The Sims 2, there can be found a secret hut located in the corner of the town Belladonna Cove, which is apparently based on the Russian fairy tale and and like urban legend of Baba Yaga, like an old witch who cooks and eats like kids, this. and is I'll typically like depicted like living like in a out. secluded hut right. in the forest away and from the like rest of civilization. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Daisy's Third Eye. This is a pretty me, weird like bug, and not really like an intended easter egg, but like either way it's something that can be found in Smash Bros. Melee, because for some reason from certain angles, there is a third eye which appears on the back of Daisy's trophy head. Although this was later fixed in the North American release of the game. Minecraft. It's pretty ass. I have the Sims too. I have the Sims too. Do I even need to explain this one? Probably not. I have the Sims 1 and 2 on um, PS2, like physical copies. Legends ever, but we all know by now. And uh, the herbs, any of my videos on like Sims Minecraft in the City or some shit. Herobrine is not real. And Those are classics. Never was. Although, just to mess with people a little bit, Notch and Mojang would occasionally leave in the patch notes removed Herobrine to spark more discussion about the hoax. And at this point, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but they should actually just put Herobrine in the game at this point, like as a sort of cryptid like boss enemy that has a chance of appearing in your game i think like, they should put so hero brown in minecraft way, there's plenty of mobs like why not if you want to have him follow you around this is like a rare game. mob or something gta 4 the heart of liberty city now, i've I'm seen this i went here GTA myself guy i mean this is really pretty now. common a few videos on it but <clears> it's still one of my favorite things to cover and i did cover gta 4 but somehow i never talked about this creepy easter egg Mainly because it's no mere rumor or myth, but an easily accessible, intended, yet hidden feature. If you get a helicopter and fly to Happiness Island and jump onto the balcony which cannot be reached on foot, then you can actually enter the Statue of Liberty, which in this I game this is was called pretty the cool. Statue of Happiness. And on this balcony you can find a door and a sign reading no hidden content this way. But once you enter, you're met with this. An actual live beating heart which cannot be damaged or destroyed. A pretty strange inclusion, even by Rockstar's weird easter egg standards. GTA 5 UFOs I've talked about this on multiple occasions now. Once in the GTA Myths iceberg briefly, but also in more of a deep dive in regards to the Mount Chiliad mystery. But basically UFOs are in GTA 5, and not in the traditional myth sense. They are full on easter eggs that can be seen at multiple points in the game. One can be found in the northern area of the map, crashed and sunken in the ocean. Then there are three other main UFO encounters which can be seen after achieving 100% completion. The first 
Next is the top of Mount Chiliad at 3 a.m. I don't have no food for you, man. The second bagging. is above a hippie camp in Sandy Shores. And the last one is above the military base Fort Zancudo and is very different from the other UFOs. Oh, and there's also a few in GTA Online as well, such as in a rare resupply mission, but more notably a Halloween event where they could be seen everywhere. But if you want a more extensive deep dive into GTA 5's UFOs and their connection to the biggest GTA mystery of all time, then check out my video on the Mount Chiliad mystery. Pokemon X and Y Ghost Girl so I mentioned this a bit. This one's a classic. But this possibly connects to that strange note found in Lumiere There's some great art of this one doesn't. on Twitter. Anyway, this mystery and Easter egg is much more notable and creepy, and has been the subject of numerous creepy pastas and theories. This is because of a strange encounter you can have with an unknown ghost girl after taking the elevator to the second floor of an office building in Lumio City. She suddenly appears behind the trainer before Bro. sliding away. <laughs> she she is bad. Around, I've seen only, some fucking no, you're not the animations. One. A pretty creepy and cryptic or, scene, especially or, uh, for a Pokemon game. Done pretty well. With no real explanation. <laughs> Cod Black Ops 2 Moving Teddy. So this is a little known fact about everyone's favorite or not so favorite teddy bear from COD Zombies. You know, the one that makes the mystery box go away and sits on top of the other possible locations when it's not there. Well, if you watch it for long enough, you will see that for a brief moment, the bear can occasionally be seen looking around before returning to its neutral sitting position. Definitely not something I ever noticed because of the hectic gameplay of zombies, but a cool little easter egg for sure. I'm gonna, um, Paper Mario, I keep muting my mic cause she's yapping and shit, me. and I'm trying to get Kind of similar to that Sims crime scene easter in. egg, we can see another scenario in Paper Mario. But I do deserve that bonk. The animation go crazy the though. Japanese version of the game, as this was cut out of later releases. That being a house in Rogueport, which had a chalk outline of a dead toad, and a disordered home, as well as actual blood in a Mario game. GTA San Andreas Mass Grave In GTA San Andreas, here we have another easter egg which has been tied in with a bunch of other myths and urban legends. Located in the desert of Bone County near Area 69, you can come across this mass grave with many body bags thrown into a deep hole, although not actually buried, and a car left next to it, likely what was used to dump the bodies. Some believed it was connected with the Mr. Trenchcoat serial killer rumor from back in the day, but it's likely just a reference to real mafias in and around Las Vegas that would dispose of bodies in the desert. Far Cry 5 Pennywise Balloon So in Far Cry 5, a location you can come across is the O'Hara Haunted House, which on its own is kinda creepy, what with the jump scares and whatnot, but once you make it to the attic, you are greeted with the It easter egg, which is made obvious by the red balloon, which is typically used to represent Pennywise. There's also a note which is titled Clown Thoughts and a phone call of the clown laughing at you. We're going deeper. Silent Hill Secret UFO Ending Apparently these secret UFO endings are a recurring thing in the Silent Hill series, starting from the first one, which is what this entry is referring to. An item can be found in the convenience store in the game called the Channeling Stone, which is required for this ending, but is only available after beating the game once. Then you have to use the stone in five different locations, the Otherworld Midwich Elementary School Roof, the Otherworld Alcamila Hospital, Norman's Motel Parking Lot, right, and the boat before the lighthouse, and finally at the top of the lighthouse. At which point the protagonist, Harry, is abducted by aliens and taken away. And that's it. That's the ending. Oh, and you also get a cool reward on your next playthrough in the form of the Hyper Blaster. Maniac Mansion, Hamster in the Microwave. Yeah, for an NES game, this is pretty disturbing as far as easter eggs go. Because yes, you can take a hamster and put it in a microwave, turn it on, and then pick up its exploded remains. Need I say anything more? Well I will, because if that wasn't enough, you can give the exploded hamster back to its owner, which horrifies him. MK9 Crypt Monster 
I'll spare you the surprise of this one because it's actually a random screamer jump. Fuck this one, bro. On the main menu I hit. I was a kid, and this shit down. got my ass. I screamed. Bioshock Infinite Fuck that. Reversed audio. This is a cool little secret found in the hushed whispers that occur when using the possession vigor in Bioshock Infinite, both in its first introduction when Booker drinks it and when used on human enemies in the game. The audio played normally is unintelligible, but when you reverse it, you can make out different lines taken from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, fitting given the ability the vigor grants. Halo 3, Welcome the back. Caveman. Bro's about to go to sleep. This is something I had no clue about back when <laughs> I played this game. Where he's in bed rubbing his feet Fox together and shit. It's again, over with. I definitely learned about it when I was doing some achievement hunting on the Master Chief Collection when it dropped on Steam. And I have nowhere else to flex this, so just gotta, yeah, I kinda beat all the Halo campaigns on Lasso, you know. No big deal, I mean, you know. Anyways, this easter egg here is pretty strange and creepy, and honestly if I saw this as a kid it definitely would have spooked me out. There's a couple of these cavemen on the first level of the game, Sierra 117. One of them you can't really see without a scope hidden in a tree. There's more towards the end of the level again, off in the distance on a rock, but easier to see. I'm not gonna lie, I thought those were monkeys. They were monkeys. The Darkness Mysterious Phone Calls after getting collectibles in the game The Darkness, you are rewarded with a series of phone calls which can be listened to at a payphone in the game, which range from humorous to mysterious or even creepy. But there are a lot of these and they can vary quite a bit. Goat Simulator Cemetery. If there was ever a game to be ashamed of being nostalgic for, it'd probably be this one. At least until Fortnite becomes nostalgic, I guess. God, I'm dreading that day. Apparently it already has for some people. I guess for me it just hasn't set in yet. What am I even talking about? We're getting off track. This is Goat Simulator, the funny goat game from like 2014 or something. The location itself of the cemetery isn't an easter egg as far as I know, but it's definitely creepy, especially since this thing can start chasing you. A horrifying slender goat, and no, I did not make that up, that's his actual name, at least that's what the community refers to him as. Pokemon Black and White, Marvelous Bridge Ghost. Another Bro, you're knocking out so many tasks right now. On the Sleeping, bridge. watching YouTube, when you farming point. She simply vanishes, and another Bro, min even acknowledges it. And in a nearby building, an old woman tells of a young girl who played with an Abra around here before the bridge was built, even referring to her using past tense, suggesting that she is referring to the ghost girl who might have met with a tragic fate and now haunts the bridge. COD World at War Dentist Chair This is a pretty simple one, and one I definitely remembered creeping me out. I mean, Zombies was never all that creepy even as a kid, but I will admit this little easter egg added more eeriness to what is already still the scariest zombie map, Verrucked from World at War. And this can be heard by simply pressing the interact button on this chair in the starting room. Fable 2, Winter Lodge. This is a rather strange occurrence that can be seen in the game Fable 2 when entering a certain cabin known as the Winter Lodge, which changes once you enter it. See for yourself.
Battlefield 5 Gnomes. The gnomes are a pretty interesting and creepy easter egg in Battlefield 5 because they can only be found on the map Eris and in the combined arms mission High Intelligence on Fell 652, where you can find two of them in a small house or randomly in a few different locations on Eris, but once you destroy one of the gnomes it will start teleporting around the map and following you, even after dying and respawning, and stares at you with red eyes. The only way to stop it from following you is to rebuild it using the build tool. Assassin's Creed 2 Giant Squid Kind of a running gag in the Assassin's Creed games, well actually it only appears in two of the games I'm pretty sure, but it happened twice and they both appear on this list so yeah, starting it off with this one in the second game which can be observed in the pool of the Santa Maria after staring into it for about a minute and pulling a nearby lever and looking into the pool again enough times will even cause a short cutscene to play of a tentacle coming out of the water before returning to the depths below. Fatal Frame screensavers. So the Fatal Frame I want to play the Fatal Frame really scary, games right? one day. I mean, they're horror games. They look pretty there fun. There are also some really chilling Easter eggs in the original trilogy, which can be seen after being AFK for a certain amount of time in game, causing different effects. In the first game, a bunch of bloodied handprints appear on screen, and in the second and third games, the face of a ghostly woman appears alongside some screen effects and creepy ambience. World of Warcraft Goldshire's Children In World of Warcraft, if you go to the town of Goldshire at about 7.30am, you will see a group of children playing, and if you look closely, interestingly enough, you'll see them moving into the shape of a pentagram, which is pretty creepy in itself, but if you follow them, you'll eventually be led to a house, in a place called Crystal Lake, likely as a reference to Friday the 13th with the kids also possibly being a reference to the horror film Children of the Corn. But once you enter the house, you are also met with this audio. Original Xbox dashboard which which OST. Fatal Frame did you play? So the original Xbox's dashboard OS is on, like, already very creepy Wii in its own right. Shit, it's or... a dark droning ambience, or something what? you'd think you'd hear in a How old are they? Game, but that's only the I know they re-released one for Switch recently, didn't they? Idle for long enough, you can end up hearing this. I heard this one before on my OG Xbox. Terrifying, especially if you're just a kid hearing this out le of Xbox. Leaving like, my shit on overnight. While, just sleeping and just to get woken up to this. Literally. The that's probably what's what happened to me. Well, apparently Microsoft really wanted the Xbox to seem cutting my DS, I was a gigish like me, like 8 to 10. <laughs> hence the creepy synthesized Bro, was shook. GTA Vice City, Chainsaw Apartment. I think uh, this is a reference a to GTA Scarface. It has cool to be. Easter eggs, despite being one of the earliest 3D GTA games. One of these is Apartment 3C, which has long been associated with various myths in the game, such as a chainsaw-wielding serial killer, thanks to a gruesome scene which can be found there. Taking a look, you will find a bloody mess and a chainsaw pickup which led to a lot of speculation on what occurred here, although the answer is pretty basic. It's just a reference to the 1983 classic crime drama Scarface, which takes place in Florida and provided quite a bit of inspiration for Vice City, most notably Tommy's Mansion, and there is a scene in the film which basically is exactly what is shown in the aftermath of this bathroom. Assassin's Creed 4 Giant Squid this is the other Assassin's Creed giant squid sighting in Black Flag, which is actually a pretty hard encounter to find. That's because you have to use the diving bell at the Antoka wreck, then swim down into the ship and look out of a certain window, which is where you'll see a giant squid attack a whale. Sims 3 Kraken 
We've got a similar thing in The Sims 3, except with the legendary octopus, which is much larger and scarier than the squid in Assassin's Creed, which is a very rare encounter in the ocean of Sims 3 in the Island Paradise expansion. COD Black Ops 2 Sniper Jump Scare A classic Mob of the Dead easter egg, and sort of became a tradition in zombies after this point to have a random jump scare easter egg. This one being of the character Rustman which can be seen by equipping a sniper with a scope, going to the roof, and standing in a certain spot and looking into the sky. Skyrim Sovngarde Statues Sovngarde is one of the final locations reached in Skyrim, and Skyrim? is actually a Ayo, great form boys? of the afterlife for those who died in combat, but there is also a pretty unsettling easter egg when you first arrive there that you might notice. These giant statues will actually always turn to face you, the player, and can sometimes even be caught shifting when you turn to take a look at them. Payday 2, which... Did y'all know that? So the No Mercy Heist that is pretty was fucking creepy. In Payday the Heist and later added and reworked into Payday 2 is already basically one big Left 4 Dead reference. Not even really just a reference, it's a straight up collab at this point. It takes place at the Mercy Hospital where the crew is looking for a patient who has the green flu, otherwise known as the infection from Left 4 Dead, so they can extract blood from them. There are multiple other references to Left 4 Dead in the heist, such as Bill, one of the survivors from the first game game having a random chance to enter the elevator in the beginning of the mission. But there is also a witch hidden in a closet, and when you look at her long enough, just like in Left 4 Dead, you get attacked. Well, in this case, just jump scared, thankfully. Although cloakers might as well be the payday equivalent of a witch with their instant kill kicks. Fear, Alma Flashback. So Fear was one of my first, I think it was list. my first I mean, horror game. This shit was scary itself, as fuck, this little bro. Easter egg comes in the first Something about, the like, game, if you little ghost girls when I was a kid just scared the fuck out of me. Greeted with this hidden encounter with Alma. <laughs> the whole game is about fucking ghost girls. Half-Life, G-Man Sightings G-Man is like the Bigfoot of Half-Life. Actually, that might be misleading because he's more than just a cryptid. This guy is so mysterious and interesting and basically at the center of everything happening in these games. And yet we still know next to nothing about him. Still one of the most talked about gaming mysteries and still unsolved. And he can be seen stalking the player at various points in almost all of the Half-Life games, starting from the first entry in the series. Please don't touch anything 3D, 666. Please Don't Touch Anything 3D is an interesting game in that it's just a pretty simple yet fun interactive VR game with many, many different possible endings. One of those being the 666 ending, which can be pretty scary to come G -Man across, hard. especially playing like in him. VR when there really is no escape. Basically, you have to press the red button until a hammer spawns in, use it to break the glass on a clock on the wall, then move all the hands to 6 and enjoy the nightmare. Nintendo Labo Haunted Labo House Not much to say about this one other than this is something that could definitely startle a young kid messing around on Nintendo Labo, but it's not really that creepy compared to other entries on this list.
World of Warcraft's Kraken. Located in the zone of Zul'dun in the Battle of Azeroth expansion for World of Warcraft, there is a location near the top of the map underneath the water near a shipwreck where a giant kraken can be found in the depths. And what's more is there is also a horn which if you blow, the kraken will start to move closer to you, although you still can't actually reach it. A lot of kraken and giant squid encounters on here for some reason. Bioshock Infinite, Dead Bodies. In the Bioshock Infinite DLC, Burial at Sea Episode 2, towards the beginning, Elizabeth has a vision of being in the boat with the Lutesses, where if you look closely in the water, you can see dead bodies. This is likely a reference to the River Styx, a river in Greek mythology that leads to the underworld and is typically depicted as being filled with corpses. Manhunt 2 Strip Club Jump Scare so I've talked extensively about both Manhunt 1 and 2, did a deep dive on cut content and an entire iceberg on these games, big fan in case you couldn't tell. But if you've seen those or played these games, you'll know a jump scare is far from the creepiest thing you can encounter. Either way, this is found in the 4th level, Red Light District, and if you look closely at one of the strippers, suddenly she is replaced with a vision of Danny's dead wife. Wizard 101, Face in the Void this is a pretty simple yet creepy encounter in Wizard 101, which can be found in Mushu when standing in a very specific spot, which allows you to catch a glimpse of some ominous blue faces in the background that are only visible from certain angles. Batman Arkham Knight, Man Bat Jump Scare so the Batman Arkham games have quite a few jump scares if I remember right. Like I remember way back in the day getting scared by that scarecrow one in the original Arkham Asylum which terrified me as a kid, but this one is found in Arkham Knight and hits very suddenly when grappling to a rooftop. Yeah, this has got to be one of the scariest non-horror game jump scares ever. Witcher 3, Ghost Ship. Here we have something not encountered by a lot of Witcher 3 players. I mean, this game is a ton of secrets in its vast open world, but this here, this ghost ship, can only be seen in a certain part of the ocean and only for a brief moment before disappearing into the dark waters below. I remember that Batman thing too. I got hit with it randomly and I wasn't really scared. I just thought it was part of like Skyrim man bat being spin. in the game. Like, I don't know. This it wasn't really like, I didn't think too much of it. We found roaming on his ghost horse at nighttime from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., typically following the footpaths and leading the player, if you choose to follow him, to Hamvir's Rest, where he can occasionally be found during the day. Interestingly, he cannot be damaged at all and is not tied into any quest in the game, meaning this is just a random easter egg or maybe he was intended to be a part of a quest that was scrapped. Either way, he's definitely one of the most interesting entities you can come across in Skyrim. Animal Crossing New Horizons 3AM Alien Message if you stay up until 3.33 a.m. on a Saturday night with the TV on in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you should just be seeing static, before being met with an alien message which is basically impossible to understand. GTA Vice City Cement Shoes 
At two different locations in the map, both in the ocean, you can find two similar looking men who have seemingly been killed and drowned by having their feet submerged in cement, making them sink into the ocean. A pretty disturbing prospect, and all the more so when you realize that this is based on a real life execution technique used by members of the Mafia. It's very similar to the mass grave of San Andreas, but this one is even more disturbing in my opinion. Runner 2, Slender Man. Really cool easter egg here in the game Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien, where Slender Man can actually be found in the background forest of the level Bushwacky, stalking the player as they progress. But the best part of the easter egg comes at the cannon section at the end, as waiting around for a while causes this to happen. Doom 3, Mirror Jump Scare. This is a rather simple but infamous jump scare from Doom 3. When you enter a specific bathroom, even without looking directly into the mirror, this will happen. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. GTA 5 Mineshaft Body There are truly no shortage of creepy easter eggs and mysteries in any of the Grand Theft Auto games, but especially GTA 5, because by the time they made it, the myth hunting community was in full swing, leading Rockstar to make a ton of their own mysteries for people to solve and investigate. And this here is one of those strange easter eggs, as located in the mineshaft can be found a dead body of a man wearing a suit on the tracks. It's fairly hidden as well, as the only way to enter this location is to find this locked door and blow it open with explosives. There is also a tape reel beside the man reading Richard's Majestic, and it's said by players that this is actually the body of a cartoonist from the 1940s named Isaac. And even creepier, it's said that his ghost haunts this mineshaft, as even when the player stops moving, footsteps can still occasionally be heard. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Ghost Girl here we've got another Pokemon Ghost Girl. Seems to be a bit of a trend, and I didn't even know it until now. But this one can be found in a cutscene when fighting Phoebe of the Elite Four. The first time you see the ghost, she is strangely only visible for a few frames sitting on a chair. But the next time, we possibly see from her POV, watching her get up from the chair and walking, getting closer to the player and Phoebe. And then, barely visible on the side of the player again during the cutscene, the face of the ghost again appears. What this means, I have no idea. Likely just something for aware fans to notice and get creeped out by. Plants vs Zombies, Slender Man. Another Slender Man encounter here, in Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, which can be found on the map Zomboss Estate in the woods. Hitman 2, Moving Mannequin. An absolute classic, like this has to be one of the most popular kinds of easter eggs in games, right? The moving mannequins. Usually though, it's one of those where it moves around when you aren't looking kind of thing. Sneaking up on you, getting closer and closer as you look away from it, but this time's a little different. As you can zoom in on a dummy in this mission, Miami the finish line, where this mannequin can be seen ominously moving and even pointing, only for it to look at the player and once you leave your scope, it's gone then turn around and it's about to hug you. Oh, and also the sign behind where the dummy once was now says Live Exorcism. So yeah, definitely one of the creepiest and most unique mannequin easter eggs I think I've ever seen in a game. Yume Nikki Uboa Event Yume Nikki is a game with a mind-bending narrative and surreal elements, and also has plenty of secrets, one of those being a really creepy event which can occur if you turn off the light in Poniko's house. It's a very rare thing, occurring only 1 out of 64 times, but if it happens, a black blob called Uboa will appear inside the house and ominous music will start playing. If you interact with Uboa, you will be teleported to another area called the White Desert, which you will be unable to leave, only being able to wander aimlessly in the endless landscape. 
COD Black Ops 3 Mannequin Zombies. This one is really cool, and we just got done talking about another unique mannequin easter egg, but really this one takes the cake, because if you go on the Nuketown map, the most iconic of all the Black Ops maps, and proceed to shoot off the heads of all the mannequins scattered around the map, then you'll hear a familiar sound. If you played the zombies mode, that is, because yeah, all the mannequins turn into zombies, using the same animations and framework from the zombies mode, and will hunt you down around the map until they eventually kill you. Witcher 3 Weeping Angels This is a reference to Doctor Who found in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which for fans of the show is a cool nod, but to those unfamiliar with the franchise, it could just come off as creepy. When you notice two angel statues are starting to follow you around a graveyard when you're not looking, turning to orient themselves in your direction. This can all be seen during a quest called Witcher Wannabe, after entering this small church in the graveyard. Dead by Daylight Sanctum of Wrath statues. So similar situation here on a Dead by Daylight map called Sanctum of Wrath found in the Yamaoka estate realm. There are these statues which also turn to look towards the player whenever you look away, although given how sweaty this game is and the fact that it's already a horror game, you probably won't notice this unless you're looking for it. Game Boy Camera Pop-Ups Okay, no joke, one of the scariest easter eggs ever, and one that actually terrified me as a kid. I didn't even have a Game Boy camera either, just seeing videos about it was enough for me. All you have to do to see these creepy faces is to open the Game Boy camera application and then press the run button until one of them appears. Here are some of these faces. Gmod, GM Big City Jump Scare. Okay, I'm honestly shocked that I had never heard about this because I was a pretty big Gmod player back in the day, and this is one of the most classic maps of all time. And it is a pretty huge map, I mean, it's an entire city after all. However, if you come across this building with a sign reading Cafe Baltic, walk up to the door and press E, and you'll be greeted with a loud scream. So, if you ever boot up a game of Sandbox with your friends on this map, make sure to tell them to press E on this door without telling them what it actually does. GTA 5 Jolene's Ghost The ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans is an urban legend in GTA 5 created by Rockstar, meaning it's actually a real thing. You can see this ghost by visiting the top of Mount Gordo, between the times of 11 o'clock and midnight. But if you approach her, she will disappear. Who is she? Well, she is the ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans, as I said. The wife of another character named Jock Cranley, who murdered his wife by pushing her off the cliff, causing her to haunt the top of this mountain. Halo 2 Mausoleum Suite Audio One of the songs found in the Halo 2 soundtrack in the Mausoleum Suite is called Destroyer's Invocation, and it kinda slaps. However, there are some hushed whispers in the song that can be heard, but if they're reversed, you're met with this message.
but also in the Halo 2 Anniversary Remaster, the track now has different reversed audio, which is actually taken from the Didact speech in Halo 4. Just Cause 2, Smoke Monster. The Smoke Monster can be found on Hantu Island in Just Cause 2, which is the birthplace of a lot of myths, real and fake. The Smoke Monster is actually real though, and a reference to the TV show Lost, which the entire island is sort of inspired by. Metal Gear Solid 5, Radio Message. This is a rather simple yet sad one, because in Metal Gear Solid 5, Kojima's last project with Konami, you can hear a radio message from PT, which everyone knows was the playable teaser of Silent Hills, which he was actually working on with Konami before he got kicked out. It's not any new material, it's just a message that can already be heard in PT, but I guess it could be creepy to walk into a random tent and hear this in MGS5 without knowing the context. Kanye Quest Ascension. This game is a doozy. Likely, if you know about it at all, you know about the dark secret it hides. On the surface, it's just a strange, goofy RPG Maker game released on PC in 2013 about Kanye West teaming up with other musicians in the year 3030. However, it was later revealed that there was an insane easter egg based around a cult called Ascensionism, as when you type the word Ascend into a dialogue box with a certain NPC, it begins the elaborate easter egg in which you become initiated into the group if you follow all of the right steps, some of which are pretty cryptic, ending with you being asked for your home address and other private information to join the group. Although it's likely this was all a part of a greater planned ARG which was never finished. Silent Hill 4, Robbie the Rabbit. This is a pretty simple one again, but if you peek enough times through a peephole, you'll eventually see the Robbie the Rabbit plush start to move and look around toward the player and even point in your direction. Half-Life 2, Zombie Moans Reversed. So the zombies in Half-Life 2 aren't that creepy anymore, I guess, by today's standards, right? I mean, I'm sure in like 2004 they were terrifying, but nowadays we have games like the Dead Space Remake. So these guys just aren't as terrifying anymore, right? Right? Well, think again, because if you reverse their screams, this is what you will hear. Some of the most terrifying audio I've ever heard in a game before. The creator of what? The Kanye thing? The ARG thing that they just talked about? Modern Warfare 3, Ghost Voices. This creepy voice clip can only be heard on the level Sanctuary in the graveyard next to certain graves. These voices come from the campaign cutscene, Davis Family Vacation, which contains ah, okay, a gotcha. scene of a family on vacation in London getting bombed. Resident Evil 4, Del Lago Monster. This happens in both the original game as well as the remake, and isn't even really like an easter egg, just a funny feature. Maybe more startling than anything the first time you see it. Back 
Battlefield 4 Ghost Voices. A lot of ghost voices on this list. This one is found on the Battlefield 4 map Nonsha Strike, where if you go to this underground tunnel and then find this security camera which will follow you and start to beep, then just wait here, you will eventually hear some hushed whispers, possibly the voice of a ghost telling you to leave this place and to stay away. Ghost Recon Wildlands, the boy that turned into a lake. In Ghost Recon Wildlands, a Kingslayer file, which is basically a piece of intel in the game, describes an urban legend called the boy that turned into a lake. It reads, quote, People from the eastern village of San Ignacio de Moxos say that a long time ago, local women could only use a small swamp to wash clothes and men had to go fishing miles away. One day, a young boy went to help his mother and as he walked into the water, he mysteriously disappeared. His mother ran into the village to seek help. When the villagers reached the swamp, the boy was nowhere to be seen. Nowadays, the swamp has turned into a beautiful lake full of fish and clean water. Doki Doki Literature Club, Did I Scare You? This is a really cool detail in Doki Doki Literature Club, but uh, basically talking about anything of substance that happens in this game is probably considered spoilers, so skip to the next entry if you don't want the later part of this game spoiled to you. But essentially this jump scare only happens if you're recording during the third act of the game when Monica is talking to you, which will prompt this to happen. That shit happened to me when I was playing it. Then also, there was fucking... Someone came to the chat, their name was like, Monica something, and they were like, chatting. <laughs> that shit was so weird, that was such a weird playthrough. Weird ass stream, bro. But it was fine. Zombie Army 4, Dolls. There are a ton of these dolls hidden throughout Zombie Army 4, which glow, make creepy noises, and eventually vanish when found. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Old Chateau. Another Pokemon mystery involving a ghost girl, this time in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Found in the Old Chateau, which is a dilapidated old house that is haunted by spirits and has an otherworldly feel to it, which is definitely aided by the creepy music. This ghost girl, however, can only be seen by entering the middle room, but can be seen on the right side before exiting. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Old Chateau. We're visiting the Old Chateau again, just this time we're in the remakes of the previously mentioned games with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and there are actually quite a few notable easter eggs to be found here. First of all, the same ghost girl can be found again in the same spot, but also the eyes on a portrait in the room glow red and stare at you, and it even laughs at you. That ass also, I was about to say, Pokemon loves these call, fucking ghost sure girls, bro. Also in the old they have like three or four different variants of them hoes by well. now. Yakuza 6 Ghost Photos In Yakuza 6, there can be found a series of photos of people who have since passed away from previous games. And once you collect all of the photos and then return to where they were taken and pull out your own camera and take a picture, you will be greeted with their ghostly image in the frame as well as a controller vibration. Very similar to the ghostly images from the original Metal Gear Solid. Night of the Consumer's Hidden Room 
Night of the Consumers is a first-person horror game designed to look like an old PS1 game, but the easter egg here isn't all that creepy compared to whatever else is in this game from what I saw. But to find this secret room, you take this box of video games or something and continuously throw it at this crack in the wall until it breaks, leading you to a room with bones, as well as writing showing this man was trapped in the walls for many, many days, as well as writing that says, don't trust the manager. Not really sure what this exactly means, as I've never played this game, but that's probably lore food. Animal Crossing Gyroid Face so for some reason, I guess to encourage people to save their games more often, a feature was implemented in Animal Crossing which made your character's face look like the gyroids if you failed to save before leaving your town. Hitman Contracts, Ghost in the Mirror in Hitman Contracts on the level Traditions of the Trade, you can find a section of the hospital which is closed due to an accident occurring there, leaving someone dead. However, you can pick the lock and enter this hidden area, where a dead body can be found in room 109, along with a gruesome crime scene and a cop who tells you there's been an accident. And if you go into a bathroom in any one of these rooms in this haunted section of the map, you will see the ghost of the man who died in the mirror, only to turn around to see that he's no longer there, only reappearing when you look back into the mirror. Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy Jump Scare so this should barely even be considered an easter egg because Golden Freddy is one of the most well-known things at this point from the FNAF franchise, but believe it or not, in the first game he was just a mere easter egg that had a random chance of spawning and freaked out unsuspecting players. However, the odds of seeing him are extremely rare, but if you are unlucky enough to encounter him, he will spawn inside your office and text reading it's me will appear before he jump scares you and completely closes the game. This was also later added in as an easter egg if you typed in the number 1987 in the difficulty options for the custom night, which again would give you the Golden Freddy jump scare and crash the game. Taiko no Tatsujin 1STPAI Okay, so this one is genuinely unsettling, mostly because I do not understand this at all. Basically, in the Japanese game Taiko Drum Master, a taiko drum rhythm game, an unused song was found that is quite, uh, well, hear for yourself. Now, it's unknown exactly what this song is supposed to be, but some believe it was intended as a teaser for another game in the series centered around yokai, or Japanese spirits, which released on the DS, although this has not been proven. Actually, wait, this kind of goes hard. Black and White 2 Whispers Honestly, this is just a really cool feature, that if you were unlucky enough to be born with a fairly common name, has the potential of completely scaring you in the middle of the night. Well, it would have if you played this game without knowing this. Basically, if you launch the game after 10pm, and happen to choose a name that is within its recorded database, then your name will be whispered as you play. Psychonauts Milla's Secret Room A secret room hidden within the Milla's dance party level of Psychonauts contains a rather disturbing easter egg in an otherwise pretty kid-friendly game. If you manage to enter her secret room, you will be met with the chilling screams of kids who died in a fire at an orphanage, screaming things like, Save us, and why didn't you save us?
Doom OST Spectrograms. Pretty simple here, but if you look at the soundtrack of Doom in a spectrogram, you'll notice the numbers 666 as well as a pentagram. The Crew Bigfoot. Okay, this is the type of Bigfoot encounter I need in GTA 6. A full-on NPC that can be encountered in the wilderness, which is exactly what we have here in The Crew 2. He can be found in the Southern Cascades roaming the countryside. He can also be found in the first game as well in the Northern Cascades. Animal Crossing New Horizons Graveyard Wallpaper as far as Animal Crossing easter eggs go, this is definitely one of the creepier ones, which can be seen in New Horizons with the graveyard wallpaper if there is dim lighting, which will cause a ghost to appear, who actually is one of the only things in the game to appear in a realistic art style, making it feel all the more out of place in this game. Call of Duty Finest Hour Ghost Room This definitely takes the cake for the weirdest Call of Duty easter egg of all time. Yes, including all the zombie stuff and everything from modern CODs. It is found in the level underground passage in the campaign, where you can find a door that you can't open through normal means. However, if you throw two grenades at it, then press the action button, then throw another nade, it will actually open, leading you to the strangest room ever conceived. There's floating candles, creepy framed baby pictures on the wall, a crib, teddy bears, a toilet, ghosts, a mini tank driving around. Oh, and under the staircase is a giant rat, too. Also, the character you're playing as comments this, which I couldn't have said it better myself. This is easily the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Omori Mirror Jump Scare. At this certain spot at the floating mirror and otherworld campsite, you can look at you and your friends, and while it seems normal at first, doing this enough times will prompt you to see this. Layers of Fear Ouija Board The Ouija Board is a part of the Halloween update in Layers of Fear, which can be used and found in the normally locked back room of the basement, and quite a few words can be inputted leading to different effects, such as 666 summoning a possessed teddy bear, 20 causing children's laughter to be heard, Cthulhu hilariously enough actually summons him, and Kill just straight up kills you. And I was gonna buy Omori today. I still might. I'm not sure yet though. The Crew World Ending If you go north of Hill Country in the south in the crew, you may find an abandoned car along with presumably its dead owner in the bushes. And nearby for some reason a floating newspaper that reads World Ending. Yeah, very strange easter egg. I guess maybe they're trying to imply that this news made this guy end himself or something, but why is it floating? Who knows. Cry of Fear 911 Call Cry of Fear is a psychological horror game developed originally as a mod for Half-Life 2, and later released as a standalone game on Steam. In the game, one of the items you are given is a cell phone, and if you choose to call 911 or 112, the Swedish emergency service number, this is what you'll be greeted with. Death Stranding Shower Ghost. Again, here's another sad reminder of how PT, aka Silent Hills, was probably going to be the best horror game of all time, and sadly we'll never actually see it. But we do get a possible reference to it in this Death Stranding Director's Cut Easter egg, which can randomly occur in Sam's room.
Bioshock that's training was a really good game music. Bioshock I'm excited for the, the next one to come out. In their tracks, what kind of content does the Switch version have? Because I was going to get it on uh, on Steam. Tracks, which can be heard at a few different points if the music is sped up. Animal Crossing New Horizons Haunted Paintings If you collect Red's paintings in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you might notice that these particular paintings are haunted. Some of them change their facial expressions, and some even open and close their eyes. Slender The Arrival Secret Level in Slender the Arrival, released in 2013, there is a pretty elaborate easter egg you can do to find a secret level and get an achievement or trophy for doing so. First you have to walk up to a swing set until you see text, then play the piano until again text appears saying this feels familiar, then turn on the radio, find the flashlight, leave the house, and then finally find the missing person's poster, at which point you'll get a quick jump scare and be booted back to the main menu. But once you press the start game button, you'll be in the secret level where you can play hide and seek in a creepy glitched out house. Red Dead Redemption 2 UFO Encounters I talked about this a bit in my Red Dead Redemption Myths video, but there are a ton of references to aliens in almost all Rockstar games, but in RDR2 there are a bunch even for Rockstar, but most notably are the UFO Encounters, the most prominent of which can be found at an abandoned shack near Heartland Overflow, where we can come across a cult ritual as well as some skeletons and a note left by the leader of this strange cult. It reads, at the second hour under the half moon, by the great love and grace of our savior, Kakawaba, voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off our corporal shells, so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm, to live in peace and power until the 2000th year, when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. In his love we rejoice always. If you return to this spot at 2am, you will be able to witness the UFO hovering above, basking the cabin in its green light. Another UFO can also be seen near the top of Mount Shan, which is also referenced in the note. Dear Esther Ghosts Dear Esther is a first-person walking sim, first released in 2012, that has a ton of ghost sightings throughout the game that may be hard to spot, although YouTuber Woodinator has made a compilation of all known ghost sightings. Portal 2 Ratman's Dens Doug Ratman is one of the most mysterious characters in the already bizarre world of Portal. He is one of the only known survivors of Aperture Science, and despite never appearing in person in the games, he has left quite a few players creeped out over the years due to his many dens and hideouts, which can be found in both Portal 1 and 2. Splatoon Disturbing Boss Sounds Found in both Splatoon 1 and 2, this file named amb underscore boss cmn underscore field se was ripped from the files and uh, yeah, for a kids game this audio is pretty creepy no doubt, and it can only ever be heard in game after defeating a boss in single player. Post game content for the routes, no real need of <clears throat> getting it. Okay. I'll probably get it on Steam just because it's on sale. And then 
if anything, I just watch the other content, just like on YouTube or something. Nikki Monaco event. Monaco is a character in Yume Nikki found in the White Desert area, and if you go up to her and use the spotlight effect, it will cause her to transform into a mutated monster. Escape from the Coolsonian Jump Scare Escape from the Coolsonian is a really obscure Scooby-Doo point-and-click flash game that was made to tie in with the second live-action film Monsters Unleashed, which had quite a disturbing jump scare, especially for a kid's flash game. In the second level, if you use the crowbar to try and open the sarcophagus, this would happen. Dream Daddy Escape from Margarita Zone The Escape from Margarita Zone achievement in the dating sim Dream Daddy is done by completing the secret cult ending. In order to achieve this ending, you must have these settings for your created character, and you can actually trigger this on the third date with Joseph, with the player waking up in an underground dungeon, or optionally you can just skip right to the nightmare, as you're given a choice to do so if you meet all the prerequisites. A Hat in Time Monster Noises If you stay in the Hat Kid's room for about 20 minutes or so, you will begin to hear some eerie noises. Stay even longer and you'll hear even more monster-like noises. Red Dead Redemption 2, Whispering in the Forest In Red Dead 2, if you go to a forest near Roanoke Valley, and to the south of Brandywine Drop, you'll find an area of woods haunted by the ghosts of a dead couple who were tragically and brutally murdered, one beheaded and the other burned alive. The story of the couple is told in a theater show called The Ghastly Serenade, and you can hear the spirits whispering as you enter the haunted forest. D-Day Moloch D-Day is a 2004 RTS game which hides a dark secret, which is hidden in the first chapter of the game. If you fly over the church and zoom in, you will hear the voice of a demon. Furthermore, if you blow it up, you'll find in the rubble five runes in the shape of a pentagram. Destroy all of these runes in a specific order, and it will actually summon the demon Moloch. What's crazy is that you can then control him and he is seemingly OP as hell, and there's basically nothing the enemies can do to stop you. But if you do the ritual in the wrong order, he will still spawn and instead just kill all of your troops and you. Red Dead Redemption 2 Vampire Encounter Yeah, Red Dead 2 appears a lot on this list, and for good reason. Rockstar goes all out with these cryptids and creepy easter eggs. And the Saint Denis Vampire is one of the absolute coolest encounters in the whole game. He can be found across from the church in Saint Denis at night after collecting all the clues throughout the city, and you'll come across him feasting on one of his victims. You can choose to talk to him and leave him alone like he asks you to, or you can attack and kill him to get his unique dagger, although be careful because he can one-shot kill you. Infra Tunnel B2 
If you manage to access Tunnel B2 through a hidden puzzle, you can gain entry to a secret route which will take you down an almost unending and dark hallway, as you hear breathing and strange noises as you walk on and on, until finally you eventually reach a door at the end. Spec Ops The Line Foreshadowing Well, this is kind of awkward. I mean, I did an almost two hour deep dive into this game, the entire story, the foreshadowing, and most of the easter eggs, so if you want to see that, I would definitely recommend checking that out, but saying anything more here will give away the entire story, so yeah, if you want to know more, check out my video or play the game, it's an amazing experience. But yes, there is a ton of foreshadowing and a bunch of easter eggs as you progress through the game, which I outlined in that video, but I don't want to spoil such a great game here. GTA 5 The Infinity Killer The Infinity Killer is one of the most prominent and investigated myths in GTA 5 because it's actually real, as 8 victims were killed in 1999 and their corpses were found wrapped in plastic, and they were all joggers, interestingly. Their bodies can be found at the bottom of the ocean floor off the coast of Polito Bay, but there is quite a bit more to this creepy easter egg. Doing a little digging you can find a rock with a riddle on it, presumably written by the killer, and explains why he was given his nickname. It reads, one is done, two was fun, three tried to run, four called mom, five not alive, six is nix, seven's in heaven, and eight won't wait followed by a series of eights or infinity symbols. It's also possible to learn the true identity of the killer, Merle Abrahams, who we learn about from a newspaper clipping that says he was the main suspect in the murders and died in prison at the age of 57. Saints Row 2 Screaming in Saints Row 2, for a franchise known for its wacky humor, you might be shocked if you happen to come across this house at night and hear what sounds to be a brutal torture scene inside. Red Dead Redemption 2, Ghost of Agnes Dowd This is another ghost that can be encountered in Red Dead 2, the ghost of a woman named Agnes Dowd. She can be found in Blue Water Marsh between the hours of 9pm and 3am during foggy weather, and each time you see her she will relay different parts of her life story for a total of 16 encounters, with the last one telling the player that she knows she's being watched, and further shows you the tree where she hung herself. She will also disappear at any time during the encounters if you get too close. Resident Evil 7 Demo Ghost In the demo for Resident Evil 7, there can be found a ghost at 7 different locations which doesn't appear in the base game as far as I'm aware. Because this could possibly be remnants of a proposed character called Remy who would have been a part of the Baker family before her role was split into the characters of Zoe and Mia separately but some just believe it's Mia's model or supposed to be of teen Evelyn, although either way her ghost encounters are still quite creepy. No More Heroes, Jean's Backstory There's a bit of a fourth wall breaking moment in No More Heroes Paradise that is played for laughs as Jean talks about how her backstory is too disturbing to be told in the game and might cause the age rating to change and the game to be delayed so they fast forward through it but if you slow it down you can actually hear it and yes it is actually very disturbing. your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. 
It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother to run off with your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, he took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, he molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment, and I was his slave. Every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day. The cursing didn't change anything. That's when he decided to become a killer. With no money to pay for training, I paid with my body. But to you, <laughs> I bet that son of a bitch looked like a hard-working family man. That was all an act. He didn't give two shits about cleaning up my life. So I decided to clean it up myself. That's why I do what I do. And I got what I wanted. Killing him in front of your very eyes. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Red Dead Redemption 2, Sunny. Sunny is a really disturbed individual you may have the misfortune of running into in the game. He seems friendly enough at first, sitting on his porch, but uh, then he talks about skulls and tries to invite you into his house, only to end up knocking you out and presumably assaulting you, before leaving you out in the bayou among other bodies and bones. Clearly Sonny is a serial killer, and knowing this, you can just kill him if you happen to run into him, or if this does end up happening to you, you can still return to his shack and get your revenge. PT, Lisa following you. It's wild how much of I feel like these have gotten just worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the video is more interesting day, like earlier on. Maybe I'm tripping though. Covered almost a decade later, because almost six years after release, it was found out that Lisa, the antagonistic force of the game, was constantly stalking you just out of view the entire time. Far Cry 5 radio broadcasts. In Far Cry 5, when listening to the radio in your car at a few certain areas of the map, a strange frequency will cut in of usually static, followed by a secret message. What any of this means is unsure, although some believe it could be a reference to number stations. Stardew Valley Rare Alien Event. This is a very weird easter egg related to an object called the Strange Capsule, which has a less than 1% chance of spawning in your game, and for a while it was unknown what this weird pulsing thing was even supposed to be or do. In a later update it was changed to spawn more regularly, as well as to be accompanied by a UFO sound, and a message reading, a strange sound was heard in the night. But wait three days, and whatever was in the capsule has broken out as it's now empty, and from this point on, on rare occasions, you may spot a dark figure stalking you from the trees. Harvest Moon 444 there is a strange and creepy easter egg in the original Japanese version of Harvest Moon. If you go to the TV at exactly 444, you are met with this message. This is because the Japanese word for is also the same for death, making it a very unlucky number. Red Dead Redemption 2, Missing Athletics Team. 
A lot of RDR2, like I said, but for a very good reason. And this definitely is at the top of the list for the creepiest things you can find. Also, just gotta give a quick shout out to Rockstar for putting so much time and effort into these small stories and easter eggs that only a small number of players even encounter and see through to the end. Hoping to still see stuff like this in GTA 6. But back on track, this is about a missing Blackwater athletics team, which you can actually find all murdered in a shallow grave, all killed by a serial killer named Edmund Lowry Jr. Wait a second, why does that name sound familiar? Oh my god, it's Eddie Lowe from GTA 4 in Red Dead 2. You can eventually track him down and get kidnapped, but manage to escape and capture the killer himself, and bring him back to the sheriff's office in Valentine to bring him to justice. Bully Crying Baby at a seemingly random house in Bully, at this point on the map, you can hear what sounds to be a baby crying, and sometimes even more than that. But it's honestly pretty quiet in game, so it's hard to tell what's really happening. But if we look at the files, we can start to get a better picture. The baby crying is just called Baby Cry, but the other sounds, well, they're titled Domestic Fight 01, 02, and 03. Yeah, and if you listen to the raw audio file with that name in mind, it all of a sudden becomes a lot more disturbing. Okay, so now on to Domestic Fight 2. Ben and Ed ARG Ben and Ed on the surface is a pretty simple platforming game where you control a zombie named Ed trying to save his friend Ben. However, it has a rather dark secret. One of the secret endings has the start of this ARG, as a jump scare is shown which also contains coordinates that are located in Germany. Eventually, someone actually went there to find a package hidden in a sewer grate. The package contained a working iPod, a bone, and a very strange image. The iPod had concept art and emails between devs, but from here the story only goes even deeper and gets more convoluted, with the devs claiming they had not made that secret ending and that it was made by a freelancer named Benedict, who was also associated with some other strange pages on Facebook and such. Another package was also found thanks to that Facebook page, and other disturbing videos and photos were posted to the page, such as one of a man cutting off his own foot, at which point the devs since disassociated themselves from the mystery, saying someone else was entirely behind it. Definitely a strange rabbit hole, for sure. Nun Massacre Scream Origin Nun Massacre is a 2018 puppet combo horror game inspired by PlayStation 1 graphics. One of the most disturbing noises, though, is the scream in the game, which sounds all too real. Because, well, it is, as it was taken from a real 911 call from a woman named Ruth Price, which makes it all the more disturbing once you listen back to it. Red Dead Redemption 2, Clausen's Rest and to end it off, what a better way than with a Red Dead 2 easter egg, and one of the most disturbing things- Yeah, that AR was wild. If you enter the Clausen Rest cabin, you will find a note from a mother, written to her children, Glenn and Eddie, saying she was going after men who stole money from them. However, she never returned. And looking around, you will find empty cans, as well as a table where they likely killed and ate rodents or animals to survive. But it was not enough, and eventually they starved to death. But that's not where the tragedy ends, because you can find at Chez Porter, not too far away, the gang who killed the mother and stole from the family, which you can overhear from their conversations. And that will do it for today's iceberg. A decent variety of stuff on this list, and quite a lot I had never heard about, even in the Rockstar Yeah, there was a lot of Red Dead. <laughs> Like the Red Dead ones, they some of them weren't like Easter eggs really. They were just like side quests after you do like a couple of other like collecting thingies, like collect like the secret items in the game and then you'll see that I guess. Or I guess that considers it or makes it an Easter egg, I guess. But yeah, Red Dead had a lot of them, but they were pretty fleshed out.
<clears throat> but that is gonna do it for me tonight boys thanks for hanging out i'm gonna be playing probably um outer wilds on the next stream <laughs> yeah i'll probably be playing outer wilds later on today um maybe i might do some gotcha shit since i haven't done it in a couple of days um but yeah thanks for hanging out and i will see y'all boys on the next stream have a good rest of your night bye bye